Good morning. Good morning, early birds. How is everybody today? Hope you're all feeling nice and fresh. It's just getting dark, isn't it, in the mornings now? It was ever so dark this morning. I thought, oh no, we're not getting into the winter, are we? But we've got a lovely day for you today. Sally Ann's joining me. We've got some mug rugs this first hour. We've got a gorgeous quilt coming up later as well. Um, we've got bargains galore all day today. Of course, starting with the early bird, but also in the next hour, everything is going under £10. We've squeezed some things in there as well that really shouldn't be under £10, but uh, it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant busy show. So I know, I just thought I'd let everybody know that was coming up as, um, you've obviously tuned in because you love a bargain, this morning, bright and early, we've got the early bird special. Now this is, I would actually say, probably my favourite early bird. It is like the return of the early birds because we've got two different early birds today. We've got it in the turquoise and we've got the purple. Let's start with the purple in fact. Now obviously um, over lockdown during the last few months I know a lot of people have been getting into sewing, a lot of people have been um, purchasing new sewing machines and getting involved uh, maybe in online Zoom workshops and classes but soon enough, fingers crossed, very soon we'll all be able to go back to workshops and retreats, or sewing at a relative's house, or sewing on the move. These bags are brilliant value for money at $15.99. They absolutely are, because they're really, really lovely. They are wipeable. There's um, a, a bag that I saw on John Lewis website, actually, and it was very, very similar. I, I just typed in, like, you know, a good quality sewing bag. I did a bit of research, and there was a beautiful one there, and that was about £30. I then found another one that was very, very similar to this, and it was £21.99, virtually the same as this, just different colours, um, and I think it had a different key ring on it, but it was the same as that. So this is a really special early bird price. You've got a pocket at the front to be able to put any of your, uh, maybe any of your extension leads or your foot pedal or your instructions, any of, oh sorry, I'm hitting my microphone, any of your notions. So there's a nice big pocket in there. You've then also got a really lovely deep bag with uh, obviously a Velcro strap as well for extra stability, a nice comfortable handle. And at the bottom, you've also got these great feet. So that's gonna just protect your machine. You've, you spend a lot of money on your sewing machine. You do want to make sure that you, you keep it nice and safe and dust free, even if you're storing it somewhere else in the house. It's nice to be able to just pack it away if you don't have a ded dedicated sewing space. Um, these bags, by the way, I'll give you the dimensions because they'll fit any of the sort of smaller machines. I'm thinking from the ones that we stock, any of the Alna 550, 560, 570, uh, 578, any of those ones it's gonna be fine with. We have tried it with the 680. It fits at a squeeze, at a squeeze. It fits very, very snugly. So um, it's up to you. I'll give you the dimension so you can measure your machine. So the height is 32 centimeters. The width is 46 centimeters. And the depth from here to here is 21 centimetres from here to here. I feel like I'm an air hostess. Da, 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 and da, da, da. The reason that I have to do that very, very slowly and calmly and precisely is because I always mess it up. I don't know why, I don't know how old it is. Anyway, um, we've got less than 30 of these colours. They're lovely, I think it's a great neutral colour, don't get me wrong, I know that we've got the red bag. But not everybody's a red person, are they? Not everybody, you know, wants to have you know, bright red bag, which is absolutely fine. I love the purple. That is really nice, isn't it? And you've got your nice little uh, key ring as well. Behind, you know, when we have Calico as an early bird, this is probably one of the most popular because we all have sewing machines, especially if you want to go to one of these workshops where you get to know your machine. Or I think, especially in today's world, you probably are going to need to take your own machine to workshops anyway, aren't you? So this is, um, this is really, really handy to be able to take on the move. And it's lovely and strong, it's beautiful quality, it's got great padding, and it's £15.99. I think that is super value for money. It's today's early bird special back in stock, but I've got a feeling less than 30 of those is going to go very, very quickly. So, we've got more of the black and turquoise. This is lovely. I must say, I do think... Um, I love that spear minty bluey green. It's beautiful. Once again, it's got a great size pocket in the front. 
whether you're keeping any of your pattern instructions in there, any fabrics, anything you're taking off to your workshops. It obviously opens all the way down, so it's really, really easy to slot your machine in and out. It's got two zips that can obviously meet at the centre, but it opens lovely and flat down. So it, it's got a great hard base, lovely and stable, strong and stable, to be able to protect your machine, just like our Paul, strong and stable. Um, <laughs> we've also got the uh, said no one ever. We've also got those feed the sew at the bottom, £15.99. He's saying, I'm still single, everyone, still single. Ready to mingle. He is strong and stable and he's ming ready to mingle. $15.99. $15.99 for your turquoise sewing machine black bag. For $15.99, I think that is fantastic, isn't it? Fantastic price. Those of you that are opening your order nice and early with us, you're only going to pay one PMP all day long today. Now, whether you buy on the web shop or whether you're involved in today's show, you've only got one post and packaging to pay. It's cap at 3 95 which is great, isn't it? There's so many websites that don't do that. I was buying some birthday cards on, um, it was actually funny, I was buying a birthday card for our producer Liam, who works over on Jewelry Maker. And then, you know when you go on Facebook to see when upcoming birthdays are, I thought, when is it his birthday? We're gonna get it in time. So I'd ordered it, and then I looked, and it's your dad's birthday the next day, isn't it, Cat? So I went back onto that website to buy it again. You have to pay the the, the posting packaging again, which isn't, um, you know, like a pound P&P. It's, it's a lot of p, &P. It's, it's expensive. And, well, that's it. That's exactly what I'm saying. Paul said, I hate that when you have to go for the same company and you have to pay again for the posting packaging, uh, post packaging in the same day. But that's normal. I think it's just us that's... You know, it is not. It is quite unusual that companies let you do that. No matter how many times you check out of your basket, only pay one p and p. It's brilliant, uh, and especially today we've got loads coming up. But as I say, in the next hour we're going to be doing everything under ten pounds. So if you do want a chance to be able to stock up your stash, we've got something for everyone. Lots of um, new nice little gift ideas as well coming up under ten at nine o'clock. Fifteen ninety nine. We have got a few more on quantity on these, but still, I think they're both going to be extremely popular indeed. What's that? Less than sixteen pounds. Thank you for your messages. Right. Let's have a look at what we've got this hour because we've got Sally Ann with us, and we've got some beautiful projects that Sally Ann has made from the Mugwugs book with all of these amazing brand new panels. Now, can I open this one up first? Because this is my favorite, I love this. Code is BKUU659. <gasps> Look at this. For coordinating backwaters all on a pre-printed exclusive panel. Isn't this absolutely amazing? Look at that. Come on in. That is so beautiful, isn't it? The detail on these. I love that colour as well. I'm going to shimmy this across, Paul, so then you can see this one also. The floral with the pinks. All of these are fat quarters. You've got four fat quarters. There's your little daisies. They're so pretty, aren't they? And then my favourite print of all on this fat quarter uh, panel is this one. Brand new today. I've never seen this pattern full stop. I don't think we've had it. Oh, look at that. Just £14.99. I think it's like a, a, a little tree. It reminds me of something. That's why I was like, I wanted to say. It's a bit folk arty, isn't it? Bit 60s. Cool. $14.99 exclusive to us here at Sewing Street. Let me open this out so you can see how much you're getting. Um, if you are multi buying, remember, if you're multi buying, it will already come cut like this. Now, don't get me wrong, you've got four fat quarters here, but you could just treat this as, I mean, it's just loads of fabric, isn't there? So much for your money. Um, so, just so you know, majority of the panels that we've had of this sort of size have been £19.99. This today, £14.99. And it actually just says it's £14.99 without saying special price in the graphics. It's just brilliant, isn't it? 
Um, do dial in now if you do want to make the most of any of these panels. They are brand new today, $14.99 or jump in on the website. It's probably going to be the quickest and easiest way to get involved today is on the web shop. Sewingstreet.com I think we should have a jingle like that, don't you? Oh no, thank you for all of your messages. We are working on the technical difficulty at the moment. I believe that we are, if you're watching us, you're probably watching us on Sky or, or, or on the web or on YouTube. Um, we're having problems with our free view connection this morning, but we will, um, we are working on it. Our technical team are aware of it. So thank you for letting us know. Thank you for your messages. Uh, this one, this one is, let me get you the code, Paul. It's KLUU06. Now, this one's great because you've got the spots. Oh, the colours. Gorgeous. Look at these four colours together. Each fat quarter is 70 centimetres by 50 centimetres. All of your four colours. It's 140 wide for 14.99. Now this is the one as well that's got great details because I know the yellow just looks almost like it's um, it, it's solid, but it's not. Can you see that you've got all of these lovely little like grains of rice flex? You've also got the V's, those beautiful, beautiful blues. Look at that. And then if I shimmy this like that. Oh, I like this one as well. It looks like it's just looks like it's free motion stitched, doesn't it? Almost like the cushions that we were doing yesterday, and your little square dots as well in the in the um, in the baby blue. Exclusive to us. This is your good morning panel. It is almost like um, it reminds me of. Um, well, there must have been a TV show when I was young. These colours. It does look like good good morning show, doesn't it? Yeah, they did. They did, Debbie Shaw was on my TV when I was young. I was watching her back on all of them. Um, well, it was all on the children's um, ITV show, wasn't it? I can't remember the, the, the morning show. Oh my word, she's amazing. It's just so strange. It's like, oh, it's Debbie, I know Debbie. Oh yeah, and then when she was on Rainbow, that's good as well. If you've not seen it, just type in Debbie Shaw on YouTube and Rainbow and you'll see it. A little celeb, which is amazing. Fourteen ninety nine. All right, Zippy. <laughs> uh, zip it, Joe. Our uh, Joe. He's a bit like Zippy. If you've watched that episode, then you'll know what I mean. He's in love with Debbie Shaw. <laughs> They're really lovely quality. Remember, they are pre-printed, gorgeous panels. All fat, four fat quarters for just £14.99. Let's have a look at the next one. These are the ones that Sally Ann's working with, by the way. Sorry, we're just, I keep hitting my microphone today, don't I? I'm so sorry, Paul. <laughs> We've also got, I think my microphone was protruding slightly today and it keeps just hitting me. Right, this one's lovely as well. This has um, got a bit of a, a William Morris esque feel to it, hasn't it? That's really nice. Um, pardon? Oh no, why is he so protective over that? So our Joe, he's up bright and early to just check on us. He's watching this morning. And yes, Joe, we've still got your rive eater. And no, no one has eaten it because it's so dry. It's horrible. <laughs> I've got it in my bag and you will get it later. What is he like? No one eat my Ravita. Texting cat saying, make sure that it's still there. <laughs> Look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, sorry, I didn't do the code for you, did I? It is. This is your ditzy. Your ditzy bitsy. <laughs> I like the name of this one. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Oh, I feel like we've seen this with the um the creamer, the cow creamer panels. Nobody uh, messaged her in. Did anybody message her asking where the live cow was in the studio the other day? With a cow cream. I promised you a live cow. Um, Hannah did promise. She says, right, I've got to go out and try and find a live cow for the, uh, for, the, for the show. We've got the gingham print. That's a gingham print. Your lovely grey background with the white spot. Beautiful roses. And then also your floral print, which... Do you, do you see what I mean? It has a bit of a, a William Morris-esque feel. A bit arts and crafts moving. It's lovely. 
$14.99. And there's still, you can't quite see it on this one, but you've still got that white line between them. So it gives you lots of wiggle room to be able to cut them out properly. So if you are working with a fat quarter book, for example, like any of the Wendy Gardner books, and they need a full fat quarter, you've got wiggle room to be able to cut those out nicely. See if you've got any of the uh, solids that we've got on the website. If you just type in 100% cotton, there's so many different solid colours. So if you want to mix in any of the pinks or any of the purples, the green, the blues, any of the uh, ochre tones, you could just put half a metre with this of um, any of your solid and it's going to go such a long way. $14.99. Thank you for all of your messages. We've got one more. We're working on it. We're working on the technical activities. Oh, if you're watching on Sky, Sky viewers, absolutely, or, or on the web, go for it because you are getting some exclusive deals right now, aren't you? You um, aren't competing with Freeview, which obviously is a, a huge part of our audience. So we've got one more. The last one is this one with the greys and purples. Your ditzy prints. This one is Misty Kitchen. Let me open it half and half this time so you can see these two different colours. So this one's the same but different. This is the same print but with different um, background colour. Misty Kitchen this one's called. Oh these will look lovely for your mug rugs. We've got so many ideas with the mug rugs which I'll go through um, with Sally Ann. And then on the back you've got the gingham print complementing colours. If I just shimmy that one over slightly like that then you can see how well they complement. So you've got the dots again, the gingham, they'd actually mix and match nicely with this one. What do you think? Because you've got the gingham on that but different, slightly different shade so they'd look beautiful together. Oh I'd definitely multi-buy. You'd have all eight fat quarters for less than £30. Exclusive to us here. Great sizes, bearing in mind I mean all of this is a fat quarter, half of your half metre. But it's extra wide, remember, so it's actually bigger than a lot of fat quarters, isn't it, if you think about it? Because this is 140 wide. I know that you've got the like borders on the side, but it does feel big. It's big. Okay, it is just £14.99. pence. So, to go along with these panels, we've got a mug rug book, sorry, let me move my um, cup of tea out of the way. Now, I absolutely love this book because I'm thinking for anybody, and we'll go through this with Sally Ann, but we came up with lots of ideas this morning for anybody who is new to quilting and wants a bit of practice on, um, you know, the free motion or practicing binding, practicing making a quilt sandwich. This is going to be absolutely brilliant. And I'm also thinking, especially through the, the hard sort of months that we've all been through, these would make great gifts for, for people that you could almost personalise, couldn't you? So uh, let me show you through as we dive in. I love the cupcake ones. All of your different uh, fabrics and materials, techniques that you're going to need at the start of the book, all of the different stitches, and then it goes into the project. So you've got geometrics, you've got lovely flowers, look at that. How beautiful, because you could add different textures with this. You could almost add in, you know, like Delphine's needle punching, but you could add different buttons on it or different felt uh, and make it really textured. It would look gorgeous. Like that, prime time. It looks like a, a Rubik's Cube. All these beautiful, beautiful embroidery ones. A treat for the eyes, like our Paul again monkeying around. See, if you've got one like this, you could almost have somebody's name and say how they have their tea. So you could put like milk two sugars, couldn't you on there? Tea for one. Tea for one. And you could put um, someone's favourite biscuit or someone's name on it. Look, this one's got a lovely little spoon pocket as well. Flower power. Love sewing. So you could make that larger, couldn't you? And you could have it as a, a sewing machine mat almost that you put your machine under your machine. Pretty in pink. There's so many beautiful ones. It's a great way of building up your skills of small pieces, quick, easy quilting projects. Now, normally, if you're committing to a quilting project, it's probably going to take you, you know, some time. It's not something you can do over a weekend. But this is something you could do 
really quickly. Now this, if you do want a slower sew, is a hand-stitched EPP Hexi. This is the one we're looking at today. Now, it looks like cathedral window, and it's called cathedral windows, but it's a different technique that we're going to learn today. We're going to conquer curved piecing. Good morning, coffee time, just a tea and a cookie for a creative break. I love that. You can personalise them for friends and loved ones. So the book itself is a fantastic price at 7 99 all of your templates are there as well. Um, everything that you need, 22 different designs for less than eight pounds. You can't go wrong, especially as you can mix and match them in. So, um, we're gonna get Sally Ann on uh, and uh, have a look at some of these techniques and put them into practice. So for anybody who hasn't yet shopped with us, this is how you get involved. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Welcome back. Thank you so much for all your messages, by the way. I know that we're um, having a few technical issues this morning, but we are working on it. Neil and the technical team are aware of it, so thank you for your messages. How are you, Sally? I'm Yan? good, thank you. Good, good, good. It's lovely to have you back. And we've got um, two really lovely projects today, actually, yeah. two quilting projects. But, I mean, the second one, a slightly lengthier project. It's going to take you a bit more time. Whereas these, brilliant for somebody who yeah. wants to just do a quick project or starting out quilting actually absolutely that's why i said to you this morning i've never made a mug rug i must admit ah. but when i looked at the book and i sort of started going through it you can see that this is a really good way to get into quilting yeah because it teaches you all the techniques well you know piecing sandwiching perhaps a little bit of free motion binding all in a little project rather yeah. than starting out with a great big quilt, you know? Yeah, well that was my fear when I first started in patchwork and quilting. I'd do all the top and all my patchwork and then I'd think, I don't want to quilt it, I'm scared I'm going to ruin all the work Every, I've done. Everybody always buckles at that point, it's like... It's so I'll just do straight line, yeah. I've never tried to do something else on a larger quilt. So this is a really good way yeah. of learning different ways, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And you could sort of like, like you said, you can either give them away as gifts. Yeah. But I'm, I'm a bit of a sort of quilt wall person and I'm already thinking perhaps I make, I don't know, four or five or six and put them on a sort of wall. Oh, nice. You know, and then you can sort of like look back and, you know, when you make your first big quilt, you can look back and go, oh, those were my little beginner pieces, yeah. you know? Yeah, good idea. Yeah. I think that's really important, actually, to almost have those projects to yeah. look back on. Because it reminds you of how far you've come. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So we're going to be looking at this cathedral window sort of technique, which yeah. is, is different to what a lot of people might know as cathedral window, isn't it? Okay. A different way of Did doing it. Did you want to look at the other other sample as well first? Oh, yeah. yeah. Whatever you want to do. I can't remember what page it was on then. <laughs> Um, so, so the other one, um, I mean, these oh, colours are my favourites. These are working with strips, aren't they? Yes. So the first sample that I did was working with strips. Um, very, very easy. You know, just cut your strips, join them all together. It shows you exactly how to do it in the book. And then you actually do, do a whole fat quarter's worth. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So yeah. you use one of the fat quarters that's on the panel, but yeah. you can obviously alternate different colours. So there's loads so, of these panels. So you went, play actually with. end up making three. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So those, and also because it's a bigger piece, if you're going to get into quilting, I mean, I've just cross hatched this, but rather than doing lots of little pieces, you just do it as one big piece, yeah. cross hatch the whole lot. Yeah. Um, and another top tip um, for, for quilting, because People go, how, you know, how do you actually manage to get your cross hatching so perfect? I use a lot of information from the back, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm using the fabrics that are on the back 
to help me quilt the front. Right, okay. Yeah? Yeah. So on this one, what I've done is I've just gone through the pink centre of every single flower oh, in opposite directions. So I didn't have tip. to get out a pen or a pencil. I didn't have to line up my my um you know walking yeah, you foot guide. yeah no, you're I literally just, just sewing straight through yeah. the center of Each the daisies flower. that's a really good tip i do that quite a lot even on oh. big quilts you know yeah. if you put a gingham on the back of a big quilt yeah you've got a grid yeah you know you're yeah. halfway there yeah, yeah. good idea yeah. that's brilliant so the with the smaller ones how much of the fabric have you used then in a panel to do the three so i think so i cut a eight and a half Oh, they actually finished eight and a half by five and a half. Sorry, they're um, 17 and three quarters by 12. Oh, so you've got loads yeah. left on yeah. your panel. You've got plenty to oh, play absolutely. around with, haven't you? And the other thing that I did, um, because you need, I actually took a, a binding strip and I actually cut it across two panels. Right. To make it more interesting, yeah. do you understand what I mean? So, yeah, just gone straight across. You yeah. don't need to cut them straight into fat quarters. Exactly. You can use that. You as can a fabric. use that, and it's already joined a great yeah. long strip. Yeah. yeah. So that worked really well as well. Brilliant. So would you do bias binding for the? I suppose because they're straight. Is that just straight binding? That's just straight binding. Because you could just when you're doing any of your curved pieces as well, you can make your bias binding from them as you well. You can. You can exactly. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so that's that one. Like lots of straight lines straightforward and then the other one i really like the idea of personalizing them as well like putting somebody's name and maybe their tea or coffee order yeah. on it or their initials yeah. in the year or something yeah. yeah and so would you do that after you've done your piecing before you quilt it yes yeah 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 definitely okay so this one that's called cathedral windows but as you said it's not cathedral windows yeah so this it looks like one, doesn't it? The it end does. result looks the same, but it's a different way of doing it, yeah. I suppose. So this is actually um, just curved piecing. So Now, this would scare me. I think, oh, my word, this is curved piecing. But what? I suppose for a smaller project, this is a really good way of conquering those fears of curves. Yes. So what you need to do is actually, if you read through, the, let's start at the beginning. The pattern is a little bit strange because it uses a 3 16th. Right, but which, that's fine. Which is just short of quarter of an inch. Yeah. Right. And the templates are, so there's templates in the back of the book. So I use some freezer paper to okay. sort of draw off the template. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to cut those out, do you? You want to make sure that you keep the book intact to or be able you, to use it again. You could use some of the plastic. What's the? Yeah, template yeah, plastic, plastic yeah. or whatever you want to transfer it. The freezer paper's brilliant. It's on the website if you want to make the most of it. Oh, in fact... I don't know whether we can bring in the graphics, can we? Um, we can. Do you know what? We've done it. Kat, I told you, I'm the early bird police and she's such a rebel with early bird prices. This is £10.98 for two packs. How good is that? So that was an early bird special. You can make the most of it. And this is so useful for crafters in oh, loads of ways, isn't it's it? It's fantastic for templates, for drawing yeah. stuff off over and over again, yeah. And, Absolutely. And you can use it sort of five or six times. So yeah. Like this, I'm mean, making this mug rug, you could use this piece probably five or six times. It will iron on, peel right. off, iron on, peel off. And if we're talking about different ways of quilting, like free motion, you can also use it because it's got like a shiny background. You can iron it on and it doesn't leave any sort of sticky residue on your fabric and use that as like a quilting I did that. almost. Yeah, I used that exact technique when I made a quilt for my son. I cut, cut some fish shapes out. Oh, right. yeah. And I, I ironed them round the edge and then I just free motion round the edge and yeah. peeled it off and put it on the next face and peeled it good off idea. all the way along. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good idea. So, I mean, there's, I, I think I, pin, I went on Pinterest and there was something stupid, like, don't quote me on this, but I'm sure it says something like 80-something ways of using freezer paper oh and crafts. There were so many ways of using it. But the one thing I've never found is anyone who says exactly how they use it in the kitchen. <laughs> they wrap their meat with it, apparently. Oh, is it just for wrapping meat? Yeah, it says great for freezing meat. Oh. Just to wrap your meat with. Okay, so going back to the, the book. So I've just got the templates and drawn them off using a pencil and then drawn round them. Sometimes I, um, I would iron them on and draw round them with a Frickson pen and then cut them out with a pair of scissors. It all right. really depends on your personal preference. Yeah. Or you can just iron them on. If you're going to go through a few layers, I put a pin through the middle to stop it lifting. Mm -hmm. you understand what I mean? Because once you start cutting into it, yeah. the layers will come between them. Right, yeah. okay. okay. So, in true Blue Peter fashion, 
So here is one, says I made earlier. Put that one there. Am I in the right place for Paul? Because he's going to tell me off otherwise. Perfect. Do I need to get a bit closer? That's absolutely <laughs> perfect. Okay, so yes. Obviously, there's the complete mug rug, and there's the one that I've been practicing at home. Now, the reason I did so many of the curves at home is because of the 3 16th involved in this, and I didn't know whether you had a foot that would actually do 3 16th. So, what foot is it that you have used? So, at home, I've got like one that's just slightly narrower than the quarter. Right, okay. But we've had a play with this machine this morning, we've got it to a quarter. Yeah. So, I'm going to have a go at just sort of like budging it back a okay. 16th. Yeah. from a quarter okay all right just to put that last piece in one thing i would say about the pattern though is do be aware i don't know if are the seam allowances included then on these templates yes yeah yeah do be aware that there is an outside and an inside okay so if you go wrong, oh they're not they're not completely symmetrical yeah, so the, are they exactly the inside curve is different to the ah. outside curve and the other side, part C, hasn't got your points. So part C is the middle piece. Oh, right, That's why I'm it with hasn't you. Got your points. Okay, but yeah, the, the actual sort of melon shape yes. isn't actually symmetrical. So. How do you mark, how do you remember which is which? Just sort of go back to have your template well, open and think, right, okay, that's that side, that's that side. Yeah, I, I tend to have it sort of still stuck to the freezer paper. Or after a while, you think to yourself, yeah, the shadow side is the side that I need to be piecing, and the very curved side actually helps form the circle. Right, okay. Right. So, one thing I would say about setting up your sewing machine if you're going to do this is use a very short stitch and use a knee lift if you have one. Now, I know this machine's got a knee lift, but, but if I used a knee lift, you'd probably see me disappear. Yeah. <laughs> you do it soon. <laughs> woo, woo. We don't need any injuries, no. No. So. These little applique, are they little applique pins you're using? Yes, they're they really, really, really fine ones. Fine ones, right, yeah. okay. So I'm finding the midpoint here, of this piece, and the midpoint here. I'm just gonna. So Ooh. using the more Sorry, shallow. My... No, you're absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna put a tiny pin right in the middle. Yeah. And then sort of pin it up in the top corner. That's a bit of a fatter pin. So it's where these pins are really useful in sort of really small places. So just making tiny little bites. I think this is probably the hardest bit is getting, you, you do want to make sure you pin, even people, you know, who aren't pinners normally, who are you yeah. best to... To pin, yeah. Right, so I put three pins in. I'm just going to go for it. So I'm going to try and use slightly less than a quarter. We'll see how we go. So where are you starting at this point? Are you starting on the um, on that point? Yeah. Just turn off and on. What are the you feed reckon? dogs doing? They're down at the moment. Uh -huh. We were playing with it before. We had a real big play with this machine. Earlier, we did. So we have to just, if in doubt, I'm like, just turn it back on enough and it will go back to the settings Thanks. when you press loads of buttons. So I've got to get used to the fact that you haven't got a... You don't need to put your own. There we go. Oh my gosh. Now it's detracted from what I asked it to do. Oh yeah, when we've turned it on and off. Okay. Let's try that again. Don't forget all right. of these fat quarter to put panels, by the way, are exclusive to us and they're so beautiful. They complement each other gorgeously. The one that Sally Ann's working with is the um, the last one we looked at with the gingham and the two floral prints, which are beautiful. The oh gingham my. print, the spot, and okay. then the two different floral colors. This one's Misty Kitchen. Let's try again. 
you keep going for the... Oh, yeah, it's got yeah. an automatic foot... Oh, goodness if, me. If you want to just... Pre there is a button at the top there. Can you see that one next to the thread yeah. cutter? That will drop it. Ah, so that gives me some idea of where I am. So if I was at home, I would definitely use a shorter stitch. Okay. As I'm here. I don't want to try and confuse the same machine with that. Now I've got it actually It's going. at the bottom. I can see where it's... See under the stitches at the bottom there, yeah? Yeah. That's your stitch length and stitch okay. width. Okay, so I take it down to about 1.6, so it's quite small. The idea being that the smaller you get your stitch, the, the more of a curve you're going to get. So I'm just going slightly off. We'll have a look after Sally Ann's sewn this just to see what it is you've sewn. Sorry, our cameras aren't great to see. Try and. Our camera shot is socially distant, isn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have a look in a second. So I'm when... trying to keep the two edges together. Okay. And I'm using a needle down as well, so that's going to help you with going around the curves. Oops. I just think it's a great way of practicing your curves without um, committing to a huge, yeah, a huge quilt. Okay. But I suppose once you know this block and this technique and you've got this template, you could. There's no reason why to say you couldn't keep it going potentially. Or I suppose you've then got to do a Y seam, haven't you? Oh, you're getting ahead of me now. Where are you doing a Y seam? Well, I'm just thinking, if you were to connect the next one along, is it going to um, cause a problem? I'm thinking, what? can I connect. keep going and keep going? Connect, oh, like this, in here? Oh, I suppose, actually, no, you wouldn't need to do a icing then. No. You just connect the next square. Yeah. Ah, so then you can make a cushion or... Okay, so I'm just going to finger press that out there. And that is your last piece. So, the... can you just show us, sorry, on the back, where it is that you've sewn? Yeah. Thank you. So you can just see in here. So it's only a very small seam allowance, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is the 3 16th. It went surprisingly well. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit, I was like, oh. Yeah, it went surprisingly well and it's gone in there really quite neat. So I'm just going to let it go and press it out towards the edge, which is okay. what I've done. Which here. is what it naturally wants to, to do. do anyway. Yeah, let it go the way it wants to. So, have we got a little ironing board and Yeah, there's, there's uh, fly press board and your okay. irons, I think, plugged in. So let's give it a little press. And, by the way, Paul has never seen this ironing mat. It might be new to you too. He absolutely loves it. It isn't just a pressing mat. So the outer, obviously, um, folds out like Sally Ann has here without, it, um, without it ruining the spine. Sorry, you might need to push the iron into the plug socket. Yep. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounded, that sounded um, a bit condescending, didn't it? You might need to plug the iron into <laughs> the plug socket. Sorry, it was just hovering over the top of the socket. I wasn't it just was being ready rude. to go. <laughs> right. The great thing is, if you haven't got a lot of space, I do like these little portable mats and cutting mats, aren't they? Especially oh, I've got these one. small projects. They're perfect for classes. Yeah. yeah. You know, just pop one in your bag. Well, that's it, because sometimes it can get a bit cumbersome when you take, especially with the way that the world is at the moment, we probably are going to have to take all our own tools with us. So you've got your mat, you've got your cutting mat, you've also got like a design wall in there, yes. and you've got the sandpaper part, which is good for marking your, marking your patterns. There's your cutting mat. Yeah, there's the mat. Do you use this part as like a design wall then, the velvety yeah, sheet? Yeah, you can put things on there. Stops them moving around. And then the sandpaper on the other side of it as well, behind the velvet. There you That's also good for yeah. marking on your yes. patterns, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Really good. Didn't realise that was there. Good for fourteen ninety nine, isn't it? You get a lot for fourteen ninety nine, like you say. Brilliant. And it's good also. Some of these only have this has got centimeters and inches, which Fab. is really good. Because I've bought one before, which is just all centimeters, which isn't really that good great for me as a quilter. Yeah, but inches are on there, so that's yeah. Fab. Thank you. Okay, right. So I've given that a good press. Yes. So I'm going to give that a good press. You work with quite a lot of sort of curves and bias edges. 
Are you best to give it a spritz with any best press or just be careful when you're ironing that you're not just warping it? I tend to be a, a, someone who prefers a dry iron, so okay. I would dry iron this. Okay. Yeah, like you said, because the edges are all biased, you yeah. don't really want to get it out of shape. So then you, what you would do is you'd cut, I've got like a back and I've got a piece of just ordinary cotton. That tells you the measurements to cut out for the back. Yes. Brilliant. Yeah. And then you just layer it up just as you would you know, an, a quilt that was 70 inches, 80 inches, and I'd spray it. I, I'm, a, I'm a sprayer. Yeah? Yeah. 505. <laughs> We've got um, the, you're using just a, a, a bit of, it looks like, is it 80-20? Cotton, yeah. cotton wadding. Good spot. Thank you. <laughs> I'm getting there with my, no, my waddings. But yeah, I mean, I suppose there's a few different ways you could use it. Could you use H640? Yeah, which is the yes, fusible yeah, fleece. Yeah, you could, so do. you could use that. Or we've got Thermalan here today, which is always really popular. It's like a real compressed fleece. Um, and it is actually heat resistant. It's not heat proof. It's an official Visaline product and it's, it's really lovely and soft. So if you are going to use them as a heat resistant, um, like a, I'm thinking oven gloves or hot pots or things like that, placemats, they do suggest if you're using it for an ironing board cover also, to use two layers. Go onto the Visaline website though and it will have all the instructions. But for a mug rug, you're fine using one layer. It will just give it, it's really quite a dense um, compressed fleece. It's only 5 99 and you get a 90 centimetre piece. So you're going to be able to make loads of mug rugs with that, aren't you? Plenty, absolutely plenty. And it's nice and thin as well. You know, it doesn't yeah. add too much bulk because you don't want to put, add too much bulk to such a small Absolutely. Item. Do you know what I want to make? You know those, I made some soup last night. You know when you heat your soup up in the bowl and it goes really hot, the bowl does. I want to make like a bowl out of fabric that I could, because I can put this in the microwave. It isn't the one with the metal strips running through. So you could put yourself a little bowl with your soup in so then you can carry it out without burning your fingers. Yeah, it'll be good. Right. Maybe I'll do it. Most popular at the moment is the Ditsy Bitsy, which is the one that you made the mug rug out of, I think. Yep. And the Misty Kitchen, which is the um, the one that Sally Ann's working with at the moment, the Greys. Right, I'm trying to set the machine up to oh, now you've changed do a little bit these. of free motion. Fab. Um, I'm going to cut off a corner just to, to play with because I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. This is, um, for anybody who is new to quilting, as we're saying, this is good for someone, you know, who is getting into it. Um, do you spray with your 505 your ah, fabric point. or your wadding? Wadding. You spray the wadding? Yeah. Okay. And if you're basting, so I would say that 505 is fine for quilts up to about 70 inches. Yeah. Above 70 inches, I wouldn't use 505 because I don't think you get enough sort of stretch and enough flatness over such a big area. So what would you use then? I'd send it to a long arm quilter. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's but, different ways of bases, isn't there? If yeah. you don't want to spray, you can use clips or hand tack it. Tacking, or, yeah. Or yeah. Uh, there's, yeah, those like plastic clips that you shoot yeah. through it. I've seen like a oh, gun yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the micro stitch tool. Oh, is that? Or the micro stitch tool. Or the banana clips. We've got some like curved Sophie pins. Oh, yeah. Use basting. But the 505 is a temporary hold, isn't it? So yep. this is great for holding all sorts in place if you're doing, you know, plico projects or, or there's, there's lots of different uses for the 505 spray. Yeah, because I use it as well for like applique, for yeah. sort of layered applique when I'm sort of like layering up something that, I don't know, like a journal book yeah. cover um, and you can just sort of like a little bit on the back and yeah. stick that there. And I didn't realise it, uh, it really does, when I say temporary hold, it will hold it in place, yeah. but you can also peel it off and move it yeah. somewhere else. Whereas Bondweb, you don't really have as much wiggle room time, whereas no. with this you do. It is a Good. great product, I use it all the time. Oh, One thing nice. I would also say is make sure you use it in a well-ventilated room. Okay. And if you're based in a quilt, never try and do it on your own. Always do it with a friend. Okay. Yeah, because you'll, you'll never get it flat enough. Otherwise. Yeah. I always make my husband or my boys do it with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see if this is going to work. Um, let's try it on this tiny little piece. Made it so We're doing some free motion. What's it telling you now? Telling me. No, hang on. It seems to have changed the foot now. Are you just fine. doing a quick tester? Yeah. So, so I... you've got enough wadding around the outside still. Plenty. You? you leave, yeah, still leave yourself a couple of inches. So what I would do is I would do exactly the same as I would do for a quilt. So you're going to start in the middle mm -hmm. and work your way out. And it's exactly what you do with a big 70 inch quilt. Start in the middle and then work outwards. Okay. 
I'm going to try and sew off this piece yeah. <laughs> rather than start again. So let's see what happens. So then when you so then when you're on the um okay when you're on the, the the mug rug itself that's when you just start drawing away what are you doing what's your design so i'm just going to go through and and quilt in the ditches you know okay. around the edges of the pieces and unlike with your sewing machine foot you don't stop you can sew backwards and forwards can't oh, you? yeah, because you can you've sew. dropped your feed dogs yeah so it feels a bit strange for anybody who is used to sewing and, you know, pivoting, turning around. Yeah. It does feel strange. But anyone who is new to quilting, I think when I first started, everyone was a bit shocked that I sort of could do it straight away. They said, it's probably because you haven't... No, but it's almost when you're so used to go, not going You could do it back. straight away. Uh, but it's only because I hadn't done much sewing before. I just tried it. I was like, oh, no, I can go back and forth. Whereas anybody else would feel like, oh, this feels really alien to me, sewing backwards. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an artist. I'm just, I can go back and forward. Free motion quilting is, is what people really do sort of struggle with. You've got to keep your consistency and speed. That's what I find the hardest is, I actually find it quicker going, I find it easier going quicker than slower. Yes. Yeah, because it, I can keep my consistency. Whereas if I'm going slow, I'm like, ooh, yeah. There's yeah. more sort of wiggle room. But it is something that takes practice. And you, you have people that come to you and they have like one class and you think to yourself, one class is not going to do yeah, it. Yeah. This is something that you need to do almost like just 10 minutes a day, every yeah, day. Yeah. And before you know it, you know, you really begin to get there. Yeah. So. So you have to excuse mine's a little bit wobbly, but I am balancing on one leg. Absolutely. Yeah. So you just go all the way around. Let's see if we can turn the speed up a bit. Yeah, we've, how, how long we got so cool? got five minutes. Everyone's having your bag as well. <laughs> they want a pattern for the bag <laughs> on the table. Ooh. Yes, please, we'd like a bag like that. Did you make that, Sally Ann? Yes. You need to show us how you do it. One of my strange... Yeah, it's... Um... I've been playing a lot with vinyl lately and it's got a vinyl top. Yeah, it's good because so you see in it. You can see in it, exactly. I find it quite liberating though, doing your free motion. You're just like, woo, can sew anywhere. go all the way around I'll just show you what the next step would be move that thank you so ooh, my favorite the spinning mat so you would just cut around the edge do this freehand or with the scissors I'll do it with scissors so you just cut it into shape basically after you finish stitching it in the book, it shows you you could um, embellish it with some stitches from your sewing machine. Yeah, so you know, this like... is the point that if you wanted to personalise it or do any decorative stitches, I mean, all of these fancy machines, they've got so many, and I think we always forget about them. It's a good time now, isn't it, to just use your nice little decorative stitches. Yeah. Or monogramming, personalise. You could even do hand stitching, as you said, with somebody's. Yeah. Monogram would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. And go right up into that sort of clip so that you get a good. I think I've moved out of the right. I'm going to get told off by Paul. I'm oh, yeah, don't feel up. the wrath of Paul. <laughs> He's on one today. He's had two cups of tea. He's in charge. <laughs> right. So I just wanted to. So I made some. This is some bias. Mm hmm. So you can just cut that on the 
On the bias, basically. On the bias. Diagonally across. Diagonally across. But one of the th things I did is I went diagonally across the fat quarter. You don't want to go diagonally across the fat quarter. You want to go diagonally across the square. Oh, Just see what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because otherwise you're not, you're getting it slightly off. Oh, right. So okay. It has to be across a square. Okay. Then. So that you get it on the right grain of the fabric. Fab. And how thick is your binding? Is this what you'd normally so do for quilting? This is that slightly is thinner? One and a half. Okay. And this is binding that I would. Literally got a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'll just start you off. So this is binding where you'd iron into the center. So you do that all the way down the length of the piece. And then you turn one edge over. And you've joined it together on the um, on the on the bias, the yeah. And then what you would do is you just take your piece and start working around. So you'd sew it on your sewing machine. Leave yourself a little tail to start off with. Sew it around the edge, and then when you've finished, it'll go over the edge. It's a bit difficult to see, and then that will nip into the back. So it will sit on the edge. And there's no... You, you need to need hand to do... sew in the back. Right, okay. Yeah, you, I mean, you could you could machine sew it. Um, but if I was going to machine sew it, I'd do it the other way around. I'd put it on the back and bring it forward. Oh. so that, And then perhaps use a decorative machine stitch on the front. There's no mitered corners on this sew that you have to do, is there? No. So what I would do to join it is I'd just put one inside the other. How about when you get to those little lips? Um, it, it's exactly the same, it just still yeah, goes around. You, you just sort of move it around as you go. I used um, a stiletto as well for some of it to help me sort of manipulate it around the curves. We've got um, a binding demo anyway in the next hour as well, yep. haven't we? So it will be very similar, I'm presuming, obviously not bias binding, but it will be similar. Yes, it will be. Yeah. So you'll be able to see an extra binding demo. There's yep. loads on the, on the website, there's loads on YouTube. But um, no, thank you. Sorry, we've run out of time. That's but okay. um, No, we'll come back and do a binding demo with you in the next hour. Okay. And we've got a gorgeous quilt. Yep. Really interesting yeah. quilt. Very excited about that. Uh, thank you ever so much. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, right, for anybody who has not yet checked out, this is how you shop. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Right, let's have a bit of a roundup of these kits because the uh, the fat quarters are selling. Oh, are selling very very quickly, and that's just how you get involved if you want to know the customer service team number. Um, so the mug rugs book is fab. It's seven ninety nine, which has twenty two different projects. Here's some quick maths for you, Paul. Twenty two projects at eight at seven pounds ninety nine. What does that make our price per project? Oh gosh, he's doing it in his head. 36p each, is he right? That's so good, isn't it? 22 different designs, including simple quilting, applique techniques, step-by-step -step instructions, great patterns. Um, they're all of your, your templates. Obviously, some of them overlap a bit, so what I would suggest is using freezer paper like Sally Ann suggested to just trace out your templates and it just means that your book is, stays nice intact. I love these. Gosh, that's just broken my dream. I had a Christmas dream last night. I dreamt it was Christmas. That's so weird. I thought, where have we seen that? I dreamt last night that was 
it's Christmas Day. Um, outer line, this is the one that we were looking at and in our fat quarters, how beautiful does that look? And a great way of practicing your quilting, getting that cross hatch, that is a great tip. And also your lovely binding. By the time you've got through all these in the book, you're gonna be an expert at binding, aren't you? I like the coffee mug. Because look, you've got the template of this. You could put that onto um, things like a pillow or you know somebody who loves um coffee we all know someone who loves a cup of coffee you could have them appliqued onto like a ipad cover or a tote bag or you know little purses or something you could even have it on the front of a purse so there's loads that you can use if you want a bit of hand stitching i think there's something for everybody in here maybe someone who's just moved house a new home this is a baker's shop but you could do it as you wish you could make it as a wall hanging so many different ways of quilting and lovely opportunities to personalise for gifts for people. £7.99 if you're just starting out quilting or you're an experienced quilter and you just want to have a go at some quick projects. Everything you need to know, the techniques and what, um, what different equipment you're going to need is at the front. The different stitches you're going to need as well. But then, I mean it is really simple. Great instructions, very thorough indeed for just £7.99. I must say, these Love to Sew books are always extremely popular. They really are great value for money. Um, we've also got four brand new. Well, I say brand new. I think a couple of these are brand new. This one, I believe, actually, they might all be new. I think they're all new as fat quarter panels, whereas we've seen some of the prints I know in different um, projects. But, oh, I love this one. I mean, they're huge, aren't they? So you're getting four fat quarters on each panel. Um, this one is called Stem Fat Quarter. So, I mean, look, you're getting these two prints, which are beautiful. This colourway is gorgeous, isn't it? Your stems. And then you've also got the floral. All right. 140 by 107 centimetres. So you can see this one's been used again in a project here. There's it at the back. And it's a, a great one to use for the back, isn't it, actually? So um, Sally Ann said you just literally find a point in the fabric. In this instance, it was the centre of the flowers to go through. They're brilliant. So this one, stem, very, very popular indeed. There's another one. Yeah, huge amount of fabric. Exclusive print to us at Sewing Street for £14.99. pence, And then we've also got the, which was the other one, very popular one, did you say? The Misty Kitchen, which was the Itsy Bitsy, which I think was this one, which is the um, cow creamer one. I say the cow creamer, it's only because I've seen this in some of Debbie's projects before. I'm going to waft it all out so you can see how much fabric you're getting because it is absolutely huge. You're getting loads of fabric for your money. Just £14.99. pence. It's absolutely massive. If you are multi-buying on these, which loads of you are, um, it's only one p and They will already come cut like this. So then you can see there's a little white line between them or you can cut them if you so want into fat quarters or just use it as a whole fabric piece like Sally Ann was suggesting as well. If you're cutting your binding. $14.99 and this one's got that lovely gingham print. So if you're using this for the back of any even mug rugs, you've already got the grid there to be able to follow the lines. Floral's lovely as well. That's your itsy bitsy. Oh, not itsy bitsy, ditsy bitsy. Itsy bitsy spider. We've also got, sorry, I don't know what voice that was. Oh, I like this one. This one was called Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I watched um, the Truman Show for the first time ever the other day. What does it say that he says? Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I love that pink one. It's the first time I've seen this print, and it's so nice. It looks like it's been stitched, doesn't it? But a wavy stitching like we did yesterday with Sarah. Oh, I loved Sarah. It was really lovely, wasn't it, yesterday? I had a nice show with Sarah. We've also got the um, square dots. And then if I flip, flip over, you can see, oops, sorry, the Vs and the little grains as well, those perp uh, the yellow grains. £14.99. Lovely bright colours, aren't they? 
purple, yellow. I'm not doing well with my colours today, am I? Um, and then the last one is the... Um, Misty Kitchen, sorry, Misty Kitchen. These were the ones that Sally Ann was working with as well. It's got the gingham print and the grey spot. And it's also got the floral, all four fat quarters for £14.99. Exclusive to us. I do like that print as well. That's really, really nice. Okay, we had a message come in from Susan. Susan, thank you ever so much for your message. She's got the book. Have a look at this. It's a message. Watching the show today and reminding me of these two unfinished projects I've made from the book. Oh, I love them. That's a real fun applique project. And I tell you what, it's really good to have a practice at some of the more um, slimmer limbs. Do you know what I mean? They're quite small, intricate pieces. So that's some tricky cutting. Well done, Susan. Susan, what are you going to put them on? Because that's the great thing when you've got these templates. Don't get me wrong, they look great on your mug rugs, but also you could use those for all sorts, for wall hangings, or on children's projects. You could almost do them on a quilt, I'm thinking. You know, hanging down from the top of a binding or something. It would look really cool that they were like hanging off, um, off a border or off um, some sashing in between a quilt. That looks so good. Thank you, Susan. Oh, please do send in your makes. If you've, um, if you've made anything from any of the, uh, the mug rug books, then absolutely, we'd love to see them. We've got in the next hour. Right, I'm gonna apologize in advance because it is going to be quite speedy, quite fast paced. So if you can, during the next few minutes, I would log on to your laptop, your computer, your iPad, your tablet, your phone, get ready on the web, or just sit and get ready on the the, uh, the phone line because it's gonna be really, really busy this next hour. We're taking everything under 10 pounds. It's gonna be a great chance to stock up your stash. We've got some beautiful gift ideas, some great fabrics as well, all coming up, but we have got a lot of projects to get through. We're under strict instruction from management that we've gotta get through it all, all going under 10 pounds right after this. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Hi, I've been asked to do a little bit of an introduction about me, so here goes for Sewing Street. I'm Sally Ann Harrison. I'm based in the UK in Bristol. Um, I lived here all my life, apart from a short stint in North Carolina, where I lived um, for three years from 2000 to 2003. I specialise in patchwork and quilting. I am a complete patchwork and quilting addict. I love small piecing. I love wool applique, all forms of applique. Um, and I also like making small little crafty projects. How did I get into sewing? Well, I've sewn all my life. I remember the first thing I ever made was um, like a little bikini top from one of my mother's old overalls when I was about nine. Um, I got married when I was about 20, 21 and started making curtains at that time. So I was a curtain maker for a long period of time. But it was in 2000 when I moved to the US that I really got into quilting big time. I discovered a local patchwork and quilting store. I took classes. Um, I made loads of quilts. I made some fantastic friends. Um, I met a great tutor called Michelle May. Um, and by the time I left, I was actually beginning to exhibit in 2003. So that's how I got into doing what I do. Tell us something unexpected about yourself. Well, one of the, the strange things about me is that I'm the world's worst knitter. Um, I can do most crafts. I crochet, I do punch needle, I do obviously patchwork and quilting and dressmaking, but knitting, mm -mm. I The pins go in all sorts of weird directions. I have to concentrate. If anybody you know rings the doorbell, I can't stop mid-row. I am the world's worst knitter. Sewing tips to share with viewers. Um, it's got to be the beard trimmer trick. I mean, why use an unpicker when you can use a beard trimmer to take out the se seams that you've sewn incorrectly? It's just the best tip ever, I reckon. And a claim to fame. 
probably my claim to fame based on my sewing career was that in 2017 I was invited to the Houston Quilt Festival, the International Quilt Festival, and it was there that I demonstrated some wool applique. It was a fantastic experience. And if anyone's debating going to the International Quilt Festival next year, go. It is absolutely fabulous. And that's a bit about me. Thank you very much for listening. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Do you know what? I've already got my eye on so much in this show. We've got so much coming up for you. Good morning, anybody who's just tuning in. I'm Vicky. Uh, we've got a fabulous show today. This hour is the first time I've ever done under £10 hour. And we've put everything in. We're going from 9 99 and we're going to do a bit of an avalanche all the way down to a crazy £2.99. So, everything in the show is going to be £10 or lower. In fact, it's going to be the same price or lower than the previous item, if that makes sense. So, have you got us on speed dial? Question number one, have you got us on speed dial? Number two, are you ready on the website? Because this is going to be brilliant. In fact, you know what? Why am I saying? So many of you have already even checked out. This one, for example, I was going to start with. It's 9 99 It's already sold out. It's lovely, isn't it? It's the August panel. It's beautiful. It's our exclusive panel, so fingers crossed we'll be able to get more of them. But it's literally just before we've come on air. Kat said, do you know where we were going to start? Well, um, it's sold out. So, well done if you were there, nice and quickly. Remember, it's only one post in packaging, no matter how many times you check out. So don't wait to the end of the hour to check out. We've also got... I'm going to put things over here. This is such... A handy, handy little device. So this is your dome threaded needle case. Now I know our cat, she um, she sews on the go and will take this around with her all the time. Those of you that do sew on the go or if you're doing a hand stitch pro project where you're using multiple different colour threads, this is going to be really, really handy because it actually stores without... I know, without knotting, I know it's crazy, without knotting any of the threads, it will store up to 10 different coloured threaded needles. So, all the same colour, if you just want to get them all ready to go. I'm going to open this out and show you how it works. So you take, and do you know what, it's lovely and safe. So if you've got little paws around the house or little hands, or if you're going to, uh, you know, you've got it in your, uh, in your handbag, there's a few people who I know who work in um, in in um, the theatre and need to do really quick amendments, and that's why I think Kat is is, is someone who had this uh, originally. So, but she said it, she gets into bad practice of shoving her needles into the sofa. Whereas this is so good. So you take the lid off, it twists off like that, and then can you see that each little dash is numbered? 
So it's got here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and then what you do is you slodge your threaded needle i don't think i've got one here but you basically slodge your slot your threaded needle through the little um d uh, little groove here hook it round the part here and then twist it and it will wind 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 it needs to be it needs to be hooked oh yeah around this part first so you need to line it up with this part here slot it in Hook it round the fin and hook it through there so it will stay, it will pull the tension nice and tight and then spin it. It will have no knots and then you can literally pull out your needle that's already threaded. So maybe if your eyesight isn't too good and you need somebody else to thread all your needles, they could do it for you. And then you can put it in and then have it ready at your convenience. So I think they're really, really handy to have. Now, I have been on the Clover website and I have had a look and it says, look, it stores away neatly. It is a foolproof sort of device. But even if you're thinking, right, I've gotten a bit of a tangle here, it won't. But if it does, can you see that you've got this little screw thing here? If you just put like a fork or something in it, that's what I normally use. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like something that you're going to twist, you take that apart and then you can easily just take all of your threads out. So it'll easily come apart as well if you think, don't know how, but I have got myself in a bit of a mess with it. You can still get into the, the device. So that's amazing. There you go. First item, under £10, very, very handy. We're on our way. So are we going to be at 9 99 Let's go to our Clover Rotary Cutter. Now, the smallest one is your 18 millimeter one, which um, is going to a brilliant, brilliant price. You know it's guaranteed under £10. There you go. Again, it's 9 99 Now, yesterday, do you know when I was with Sarah and we were doing some curved sort of cutting, improv cutting, arm behind the back, and I said to her, I think it'd be easier if you're using a smaller rotary cutter. She said, you know, yeah, it probably will be. Um, I think the 28 or the 18 millimeter are going to be great for curves. I also know that John Con Morgan loves a smaller rotary cutter for foundation paper PC. And in fact, it's good practice to sort of get into the habit of using, not mixing between. If you're if you are using paper, for example, if you're cutting through paper, you don't want to use your fabric, um, your fabric blade because it is going to blunt. So just having a completely separate rotary cutter, I find, is really handy, especially if you do a lot of foundation paper piecing or a lot of working with different fabrics. Because there are replacement blades available, you can easily replace them. Um, but I also do think that if you are having a completely separate rotary blade, it will mean that you're not having to constantly replace your blade. You could sharpen these as well. So that's just £9.99 from Clover. Uh, we've got, I can't believe this is under £10 because this is one of my favourite books. It's beautiful. This is your thread doodling. Those of you that love um, Cara Ackman, if you love uh, any of the hand embroidery that we've seen or any of, you know, Delphine's projects as well, it reminds me a lot of this. So this includes your iron-on transfers as well. Um, these are all the iron-on transfers, which I believe you get about, don't quote me on this, but I think you get it sort of four or five times obviously with these and then it's not like those remember those tattoos that you stick on do you know the ones that you then pat down with water and peel them off and they stay there and the, the ink off the um tattoo itself sort of removes obviously it goes onto skin it's not like that so it won't iron off onto your fabric um it will stay on the paper so then you can then use them and um, use your light box or use freezer paper and transfer them can't you so it's actually, you can use and use and use and use and use them as many times as you want. So they're all of your iron-on transfers, but I just love some of these as wall hangings. They are so beautiful. If you love a bit of slow stitching, maybe over the last few months you've really got into just slowing down a bit, doing some beautiful hand stitching for gift ideas. Look at that. Imaginary Atlas, Sunshine Valley. Kat, when you get your, uh, oh, this one, so apt as well. Maybe you know somebody who's been a key worker or a frontline worker over the last few months. This would be a beautiful, beautiful gift because you could personalise it, couldn't you, as well? When you move into your new place, Kat, I'll make you one of these. They're so lovely and you will learn all of these different stitches. So it doesn't just say, right, now you need to do, uh, yeah, I really like that, the maze, star maze. 
See, because you could use different, you could use buttons on here as well. Look, they're so beautiful. And it says here, right, star stitch, running stitch, seed stitch, French knots. Um, and you're thinking, hang on, I have no idea what these stitches are. Remember, it also has your stitch guide. So it will tell you in real detail how you do all of these different stitches. Your lazy daisy, your satin stitch, your French knot, your pistol stitch, fly stitch, couching. Oh, once you've got this, what I would do is have a look on the web shop. I'll tell you it says some of the uh, the fabrics that are needed. It would look lovely with some wool felt as well, but obviously you're going to need some of your skeins, your threads and your floss. Um, there's a great bundle on our website. If you just type in embroidery skein, I think it should, would it come up? What is it that we need to type? Just type in the word skein and it will come at S-K-E-I-N. S, skein, or skein, um, then it will come up. Uh, and an embroidery hoop, you don't necessarily need to do with an embroidery hoop, but it does make it easier. Um, and then obviously, if you do just want like a removable pen, like a friction pen or an air razor, any of your chosen, your chosen marking tool, that's gonna be really, really handy. I just love this book. I know that Kat launched it and it isn't just designed for like wall hangings. You could make them then obviously into front of little makeup bags or even on lampshades, cushions, on the bottom of dresses. What about back of denim jackets? See, these would be so cool on the back of a denim jacket or on the sleeve of, uh, of something or a pocket even. I think we've all gone a bit embroidery um, mad over over um, over lockdown, haven't we? It's just nice to do a bit of slow stitching. We've lived in a world that is just a million miles an hour. Uh, it is too fast. And I think, obviously, it's been a really, really difficult time for a, a lot of us, but also it's, it has been a time for, for some of us to be able to sit and reflect and be able to just think about slowing down our... our Oh, I'm, I'm always a million miles an hour. I'm, I know, okay, sorry, we can't slow down. We're doing an avalanche show where we've got to speed up. But if you want a little bit of slow sewing, love that book. Let's do another book, in fact. Oh, now, you cannot go wrong with this book. This is our gorgeous Debbie Shaw. This is Quilting Room Secrets. It's 9 99 and it's signed. It is signed as well. Um, it's signed by our lovely Debbie. So, let me show you. Oh, hang on, has she signed this one? There were thousands of books um, that she was having to sign. So, what I love, there you go, what I love about this book is that lots of books will almost bypass the actual quilting stage. Quilting books might say to you, now quilt it, now bind it, and give you maybe a short paragraph of how to do it. What I love about this book is that Debbie's done all the troubleshooting, all of the tips, the things to look for when purchasing a sewing machine, the different feet and really dissecting them all, when things go wrong, what to do, different sewing machine needles, tools and equipment. It's fantastic. It's like having Debbie in the room with you and you know what she's like. She's fantastic at, at, at teaching and problem solving. Different ways of marking, different marking tools, quilting fabrics and understanding the weights and, uh, and understanding the sizes. There's a diagram to, to understand it. Different terminology. Wadding. She breaks down all the different waddings and threads before you get to the actual quilting section. So goes from caring for your quilt, cutting out, machine stitching, applique, sandwiching, straight line, embroidered so, um, free motion, binding, and then you've also got projects with really in-depth photographs and instructions. So, I mean, this Trapunto, I love Trapunto, it gives it this lovely um, puffy look. It's so pretty, 3D, text, textured look, table runners, sashing, Bunting quilt, bargello, pillow. It's so in depth. It's brilliant. Echo quilting, tying a quilter's knot. It's just so thorough. It is the most thorough quilting book I've seen for less than £10. Bag making, hand quilting, big stitch quilting, uh, bag making. I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? This is why when we launched this book, we had the exclusive launch of it and 
When I say hundreds sold, that is the understatement of the century. There are so many, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds sold in one showing. Um, if you've already got it, you'll know how great the book is. We're not just being biased. Debbie Shaw, she's the bomb. She's the best, isn't she? Um, just £9.99 for your sewing room secret book. Love that. Um, now, we can't do our Debbie Shaw book without talking about Fusible Fleece. Now, she will mention this in, I think, virtually all of her bag books that she talks about or any of her quilting books. H640 is fantastic. Do you know when somebody creates an invention and you think, oh, what well, nothing of that, that's so simple and it's just brilliant? H640 is one of those. And it's basically, if anybody hears us saying H640 a lot, it sounds like we're saying some you know, strange code, whereas actually, it's a Visaline product it's a fusible fleece. Oh, you don't think it sounds like a code, you think it sounds like a boy band. H640. It, it's because it sounds like UB40, doesn't it? So, the cover band of, of UB40, we should do one, H640, the sewing version of, uh, of it. But the great thing is, is so this side is like a fluffy fleece. It's beautiful and soft. In fact, these would be great for the mug rug because in the last hour. And then this side is like a dotty adhesive. So you can see it's got the glue side as well. You probably can't see it on camera, but you can definitely feel it when you get it home. So obviously be careful ironing this because it's got such beautiful loft to it that you don't want to completely flatten it. Put your fabric on and, um, and, and press it from the other side, if I were you, from this side, with your fabric on it, obviously. It does have some pressing instructions. It just says um, 15 seconds, tells you how to, um, to wash it as well. You can check this in the wash. So it's great if you're doing smaller quilting projects. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't quilt a 70 inch quilt with it, but I think it is gonna be ideal for smaller wall hangings, uh, furniture cushions, the tote bags, for just adding a bit of stability. You know when you've got a, a bag that sort of just slumps down to the, to the floor whenever you open it? Just using some H640 as you're interfacing will just give it that bit of body and that bit of um, stability. It's only 9 99 whenever we get it in. It's one of those sort of shout from the root off moments because it's always extremely popular. Right, next one. Oh, are you kidding? I really wanted to do this. Right, it's already sold out. Well done if you got it. It was the vintage notebook. The little notebook. Look at it. It's gorgeous. That is so nice, isn't it? It's already sold out. Okay. We've got some more nice gifts from the um, Simplicity range, though, vintage range. We've now got the set of three. What, sorry? These, the little Simplicity tins, these are great as well. So, right, you're getting all three. I'll show you the one that's open. We'll, we'll do them individually. They're, they're great just to keep your pins in, aren't they? Or any of your safety pins, or any of your clips, special threads, any sweeties, maybe? Brand new today, and a saving of two pounds if you're getting all three. Nine pounds, oh, there you go, we're under. £9.99, the avalanche has started. They're so lovely, aren't they? I do like these almost, they look like the front of dressmaking patterns, don't they? They're great sizes as well. They're six centimetres by two centimetres, but they're magnetic as well, I believe. So, let me show you. It's got like a little magnet thing in here. So you can just use it as a tin, or you can, let me take this out. Oh, if I can take it out, my... Now it's not sharp enough. So it's also got, oh, at the bottom. Oh, I understand, I'm with you. So if you're using it for pins, they'll stick. I haven't tested it. Oh, hang on. Most of them have stuck down. Don't get me wrong, it's not probably the, um, the strongest magnet in the world, but it is gonna, um, it is gonna stick down. <laughs> They are selling very, very quickly today. Oh, these are lovely for your little qu quilting classes and quilting groups, aren't they? Little gift ideas for people as well. Oh, they're all completely stuck down now. I'm, during the demo, they didn't stay, but then when I'm trying to peel them off, they won't peel off. Um, so all three down. <laughs> yes, please, Paul. All three with a saving of two pounds for nine pounds, 97. 
Right, should we go to 899 next? I was going to say, how much are these? Because I was waiting for these to come up at 9.99. Um, the Strawberry Thief one is my favourite. I I am absolutely buying one of these, please. Because they're beautiful. I thought they were just going to be um, little cases. I didn't think there was anything in them. Have you seen this before? Strawberry Thief is one of the most iconic William Morris prints. This was on the print that was on um, a, print, a, a chair in a really, really high-end, lovely restaurant that, that Kat went to the other day. So inside, they're actually, look, a little manicure set. Full manicure set. You can pay that just for a pair of tweezers. So you've got tweezers, you've got your scissors, you've got your little nail cutters. Two different ones. I'm not sure what they all are, if I'm honest. I'm very good at all of my, um, you've also got then your little, um, there's a gorgeous gift for somebody. So important to take care of your hands, isn't it? Especially when you're sewing and hand sewing. Is that cuticle remover? So you then take your cuticles off and then this one's a cuticle that you push back. But that's what you trim your old cuticles off with, I think. Oh, please correct me if I'm wrong. I love it. We've also got it in Golden Lily. They're really plush, aren't they? I can imagine these in, you know, those department stores that we all know being like 15, 20 pounds. I had no idea these were going under 10. Okay, gift ideas. They're beautiful quality little um, manicure sets. Again, eight pounds, 99. Nice to keep in your bag, aren't they? To take on the move. Great to have a pair of tweezers in there as well. Tweezers, little snips. Aren't they great? Just £8.99. Lovely for on the move. Uh, £8.99. Right, we're staying at £8.99. Should we do some fat quarters? Your lovely natural fat quarters. You've got your Hessian in here. I saw Debbie um, doing the, um, you know, the coffee coffee cup when she wrapped her schmarmux. Schmarmux. You know, the, uh, the coffee shop. <laughs> you know, not the coffee, the schmamox. <laughs> no. They're great for little shabby sheet mates, aren't they? You get four fat quarters. If you've got any of the Tilders on the website, they go really nicely. Um, but you've got all of these beautiful natural fat quarters. And I'm thinking if you were to do nice little um, wedding favours and little gift ideas or things for the kitchen, I can imagine like a little country kitchen you know you have the little garlic sacks i bet paul's like no i don't have garlic sacks you love garlic though don't you maybe you should make some little um with ribbon or lace or nice buttons on they look beautiful for eight pound 99 it's really good eight pounds 99 for four fat quarters okay fantastic price um right how is this a lower price this is a larger rotary cutter than the 18 mil one that we had earlier on this is your clover rotary cutter and i can open this one because it's easy to put back it's got the little lever it's for right-handed or left-handers. You can flip it around and use it for left-handers, I believe, as well. Um, and it's got a little R there to, uh, to, to identify that it's set up for a right-hander. You can obviously get replacement blades for these nice and easily. It's got a lovely soft grip. In fact, um, I don't know whether we've got any 28 millimeter blades on the website, but I know that you can readily avail you can get them out there in the market. Um, but it does have that safety lever, just get into the habit once you finish cutting to, uh, to obviously shut your blade because they are ever so sharp, even when you think they are blunt, they're, they're still very sharp. But I think these are fantastic for if you're doing, um, you know, projects like we said, foundation for piecing or any of your curves, it's easier to get around the corners than the 45 millimeter blade, which is baffling me that we've still got to do actually. Have we still got the 45 millimeter blade in this hour? No, that's not this hour. I was thinking, I'm sure that's more than £10. 
Right, warning. We've only got 15, or in fact, less than 15 now of the Strawberry Thief manicure set, which is this one. Not eight pounds ninety nine. I really, really love the design. There's less than fifteen. If you're thinking uh, ahead now and getting ahead for Christmas, this is lovely. It's eight pounds ninety nine. We've got the rotary blade set of three rotary blades. So these are to work in conjunction with any of your 45 millimeter blades, whether it be Alpha or Clover, Millwood, any of them, it will be absolutely fine with. As long as it's got the same center, um, then it's, it's fine. I think the Fiskus one's fine as well. I think even your Fiskus Rotary Cutter and Ruler Combo, it will be fine with. Eight pounds 99, you're getting all three and you get a little storage pot. Can you see the little case so you can store them carefully? all three of your um, normal. So I know that you can get different um, pink edge and different ones, but these are your just your regular 45 millimeter blades. There's nothing worse than when you're cutting through your designer fabric and you're slashing your fabric because of um, a, a, a blunt blade. Uh, when you're absolutely just hacking through it, when you're trying to cut your lovely expensive Liberty or your Amazing Moda, which by the way, Moda we've got coming up at 11 o'clock and I've never seen this collection before. It's beautiful. There's tutorials on our YouTube channel of how to change your rotary blade cutter if you've not done it before. Don't get me wrong, you don't always need to just change it straight away. You can sharpen them, but eventually you will need to replace them. So that's good to have. They're ready to go in your stash. We're going to some of our panels. Now I've got two different um, panels. We've got this one and we've also got the pretty um, girly one. So there's this one. I think this is brilliant for unisex projects as well. These are quite nice for gents projects, aren't they? We were saying with Sally Ann, by the way, we're down in price again, $7.99. We were saying with um, Sally Ann, it's always good to sort of label your quilts or label your projects to see your progression. So if you're starting out, even if you were to just put a little, a little um, label with the date of when you made it, then it's always good to look back and, uh, and think, oh, hang on, look at how far I've come, look at how many I've done. If, uh, it's obvious if you're doing a present for somebody, absolutely st uh, stitch in, you know, one of these that says stitch with love for somebody and name someone. These are gonna be nice on any of your embroidery things, maybe that you've got from the Thread Doodle book, the back of an embroidery. You've also got lovely little sewing machines. So it doesn't necessarily need to be with, um, you know, embroidery. You can hand embroider them. Um, or you could use one of those pens that you iron on and it permanently fixes, couldn't you? So you don't need to sew them. You could um, just write them on. Or you could use your monogramming on your machine. If you've got one of those fancy machines where it's got an alphabet, then you could always do it on your machine really quickly. We've got some machines coming up on Friday. We've also got the Dipsy. Just depends what colorway you're sort of working with. But I tell you what, for $7.99, how many labels are we getting on here? Let's have a count, because it's the same on both. Oh, okay, Cat saying 27. I think that's, I would say probably, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. <gasps> She's not wrong, cat. Really wrong. She has gone above and beyond. She counts these in her spare time. I love that one. That's so lovely. It makes it twenty-nine pence a label. They're beautiful, aren't they? And I really like the one, look, these are beautiful. You can put lovely personalized mes messages. <laughs> Sean Connery today, aren't I? Tennish. Seven ninety-nine for all of those beautiful panels, all of those lovely labels. Fabric panel up next. Um, oh no, it's sold out. Well done everybody who's making the most of these. Let's, so which one is it that's sold out? The peonies, sold out. 
Let's go for rainbow hexes. Or if you want to do some EPP, all of these lovely colours. Gosh, they're beautiful, aren't they? And you've got your stripes, your spots, your zigzags. Seven pounds, 99. I suppose, I suppose you don't necessarily need to cut them all out and do them as hexes, do you, as EPP? You could literally just cut around. You could then do, like Sally Ann said, follow a line through and just quilt it and, and make it look like, you know, you could have it as a bag or a cushion. There's loads you could do. You're thinking a lampshade. With the, the, the light would come through the white beautifully. Good idea. It'd be quite a small one, wouldn't it? Seven pounds, 99. And they're all coordinating colors. Even if you're thinking, right, actually, I'm obviously looking at these as a rainbow, but if you're using them for separate projects, so all the greens, for example, that could be like a border or, you know, the top and bottom of a cushion or a bag with all lovely greens. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a rainbow. You've got beautiful blues and purples and reds and yellows. And then you've got all of these different prints with the, the like linear texture as well. £7.99. Sorry we're going quick, but we do want to make sure that we're getting all of these bargains. Oh, thank you for keeping up with us. Well done, everyone. Don't forget, even if um, we take the graphics out, it doesn't necessarily mean it's sold out. You can still go through to the customer service team or check on the website. Let's do the mini pressing board. Now, for any dressmakers out there, or I, I suppose any bag makers, if you do little toys, this is, oh, I always say that this is Paul's real life iron. I talk about you all the time and Paul's never even seen this. Look. This is great, isn't it, for Paul's t-shirt? £7.99. It is literally like just a little mini ironing pressing board. Great for if you're doing sleeves. Great for little tiny pieces. If you don't have, you know, a, a lot of a amount of ro a room in your dedicated sewing space and you're only doing small pieces, small half square triangles or bags and straps or binding even, you can just pull it all across, can't you? You don't want to get all of the, if you get your large ironing board out, then people tend to bring you lots of, um, lots of uh, clothes, don't they? Seven ninety nine, and it's lovely quality as well, isn't it? Foldable, so it's easy for storage. Um, maximum, it's got anti-skid feet, so maximum stability. Perfect for quilting. A great alternative to a bulky uh, conventional lining board. Nine by four, nine inches by four pressing surface. Brilliant, isn't it? Just seven pounds, nine pounds, and it folds away. Really nice and flat, so if you do want to store that away nice and easily, it's really easy, isn't it? It's going to take up hardly any room. Put that in your sewing machine bag, can't you? When you're off to um, a workshop. Perfect. Okay. Pins. Oh, we talked about having nice little fine pins with Sally Ann at the last hour. When you're doing smaller projects, uh, these are your quilting fine pins. So I'm not sure whether I can open these. There should be some in the caddy. Let's see. I've got the little applique pins or I've got the multicolored ones, but no, don't worry. Um, I just wanted to show you because they've got really lovely glass head on the top. So if you're stitching, you've got the um, green ones and then also you've got orange ones. Um, so you've got a hundred of your lovely fine pins and, and they have got the glass headed pin, which I know that sounds, um, oops, sorry. I know that that sounds sort of, well, well, what does that make a difference if they're glass headed? It does make a difference because if you're pressing and they are plastic heads, you melt the plastic onto your fabric. So glass headed ones are lovely and they're really nice and long, these ones. They're heat resistant um, and they're really nice and delicate, nice and fine. They'll be brilliant for the projects that we were looking at with Sally Ann in the last hour. All 100 of them, beautiful quality from Clover, the £7.99 and they come with a nice little, nice little tin. The magnets. Oh, the simplicity ones. Right, so the the um, 
Tins really popular, the notebook sold out completely, and these are just nice little gifts for people, maybe on your workroom space, anybody who's a dressmaker, they're fantastic. Sewing mends my soul. Oh, how many people are gonna want this one? Sewing mends my soul, and also these lovely vintage dressmaking patterns, printed patterns, it's even got the number of them on there. Now these have got really nice, good, strong magnets, fridge magnets, or on any of your, uh, your your workspace, any of your metal workspaces. Great saving as well. You could get somebody, you know, a bottle of Prosecco and a little um, a little magnet with it. You're saving £1.50, you are saving £1.50. Now there's only 30 of these bundles left. There were loads of these that sold before, before we've shown them on air. Are these brand new? Yeah, they're brand new. They're great, aren't they? They're really nice to have nice little gifts especially leading up to Christmas. It's good to just stock up. Do you have one of those Prezi drawers? I've got a Prezi drawer. You don't even have a drawer. What do you mean? Do you have like a little cupboard where you keep birthday cards and a few little gifts, just in case? No? What was that? No. Oh, we've all got one. Paul's not that organized, but yes, we have one. But these are great magnets, aren't they? Perfect for that. Or just keep it for yourself. Keep it for yourself. Seven pounds ninety-seven. Oh, he says my mum's got one for every age and every occasion, every sort of occasion out there. <laughs> this is your hair marker. So there's lots of different ways of marking your fabric. There's marking pens, obviously, and there's different. This is the real traditional way of using, um, of marking your fabric. Originally, a Hera marker was made out of a bone. This isn't made out of a bone, <laughs> um, but it's great. It's actually a lot more effective than it sort of looks. Because I was thinking, oh no, it's not going to really make a mark in it. It does give it a really good score. And you've also got the other end of it. This is actually a two in one because you've also got the stiletto on the other side. So if you're doing uh, needle turn applique, this is going to be really, really handy for it. If you're doing any poking out of any uh, corners in bags or cushions or any smaller projects and you need to just get into those areas that's going to be really really useful um it says as well for applique you can use your hair marker useful for marking and creasing on um applique reverse applique etc so there's there's loads of ways of using it marking out your quilting patterns though just you know, if you don't want to get your pen out and be marking it all and then have to erase it, but you, you know that you want to get just a bit of a vague idea of where you're sewing, maybe for your seam allowance or for your cross hatch if you're doing um, any quilting, then it's good to just be able to mark it out without actually leaving any marks on your fabric. Okay, should we go down in price again? Tartans! This time we're getting one, two, three, four fat quarters to $6.99. And they are gorgeous, aren't they? All four of your tartan fat quarters. Oh, I see, I'm thinking these would be really, really lovely again for um, smaller projects. I'm thinking you could actually add this in with your patchwork. They'd be lovely textures. Be aware, obviously, they're woven fabrics, but I've seen Kaif and Anna Maria Horner have used woven fabrics. And they're lovely. Jam jars, just upcycling things we're all living in a world where we're aware and trying to think a bit more about sustainability and reusing and upcycling how about if you've got a load of jars that old pickled onion jars i've got loads of pickled onion jars i love pickled onions um but being able to just embellish them that you keep all your marking tools in keep them decorate them nicely whether it be on the lid or around the side like we've seen debbie do before there's loads you can do six pounds 99 for all four of your fat quarters. Great value for money. How are we doing for time? 10 minutes, we can do it. Is it the rainbow one? This is your bright. Oh, sorry. 
gosh. These are your bright applique. Now, I love these for bunting. These are great. You can literally personalize anything that you've got, whether it be cushions, whether it be bunting, whether it be bags. You've got um, your, of course, your capital letters, and then some of the letters, obviously, that are more used, you've got more of. You've got four O's, but two V's, depending on, you know, what letters you're doing. This is great. Just five pounds 99 for your exclusive panel and you've also got your numbers i'm thinking of doing like happy birthday ones i made my friend emily happy birthday one too with this really easy as well you could just bond it the back of it almost if you know that you're going to be doing loads of the letters if you are going to do with the full applique bond it the whole back of it so then it's easier to cut out and stick down we also have it all with your 505 spray actually you can just 505 them down and then um, sew around them. Use some of your fancy decorative stitches on your machine to stitch them down. Um, we've also then got it in greys. Oh, these are nice autumnal woodland colours. In fact, with the, uh, the woodland colour me in panel, these are going to look nice. Well, it depends on what colours you use with the colour me in panels, but I always see these earthy, warm, beautiful tones. Quite traditional. Great for all ages, a bit more grown up, isn't it? If you want to do maybe a happy birthday for, for an adult. £5.99. And to say you're getting, right, let's see. It will say here. Um, three inch, they're three inch, so they're big size letters. Uh, capitals three inch height, lowercase two and a half inch. It's good that they've done, you know, more of the O's. It's not like you've just got one or, you know, one of each letter. Some of the, don't get me wrong, some of the ones that you don't use as much, like the V. V for Victoria. Do you remember that Eurovision song? Oh, have you watched the Eurovision film? It's so good. Cat, you need to watch it. It's really good. It's really good. Five pounds a time. Don't get, don't get me wrong. It's not going to win, you know, groundbreaking um, <laughs> awards. It's fine, still going to win the Oscars, but it's just feel-good funny film, isn't it? <laughs> Colour me in. Right, we well said about the woodland one. These baffle me that we're already at this price point because look at how great these are. This is endless fun. You've seen me colouring these in for a whole hour before. They're so good, I get really carried away. Look at the honey bear. And the deer. Remember when I coloured the bear in gold and silver? The caterpillar with his little smile. They're just fantastic. I like the fox as well and the uh, squirrel. There's so many lovely little notions that you can applique onto different projects. I've seen people putting them onto denim jackets. I've seen people do all sorts of makeup bags out of these. I've seen somebody do a toy actually, a bear. Remember the memory bear that we had? That was so lovely. I mean, they're huge panels, they really are. And if you've got any of the, the um, fabric pens, have a look on the website if you haven't. You can stock it up on any of the pens or you could embroider them. You could fill it in with threads, put them in a hoop and, uh, and you know, fill it in with, with some beautiful skeins. It's only 5 99 it's exclusive to us. It's a great price to get children involved as well on rainy days and summer holidays. And then you can sew it into a beautiful project. Um, the under the sea, under the ocean, five ninety nine. That's only half of it. So you can see you get loads of different elements. Oh yeah, we named all of these, didn't we? Terry the turtle, Ollie the octopus. What do you mean? The whale, I don't know. This is starfish. Your seahorse, I love them. Jellyfish. There's the seahorse jellyfish. Sorry, when I look, it's the other way around. Your crab. What do we call the crab? Can you remember? Oh, I love the sea lion. It's always been very, very popular. It's always been very popular. It's been very, very popular today. Just £5.99 for your colour me in panel. Now, um, so 
in the last hour, we briefly mentioned Thermalan. I love Thermalan because it's brilliant. It's a heat resistant. It's not heat proof. It's heat resistant. It's an official Visaline product, which is basically a compressed fleece. So if you're doing projects like um, an ironing board cover, or if you're doing oven gloves, if you're doing any makes for the kitchen, anything that you want to keep warm, it will keep the warm in and it will also keep the cold in. So if you're doing things like lunch boxes as well, this is going to be ideal for that. But they do advise that if you are doing things like ironing board covers or um, uh, pot holders, anything that's going to have direct heat on it, to use at least two layers of it in your project. You're going to be able to sew through it absolutely fine. It's only £5.99 and a half metre. You can still quilt with it. You can still um, sew through it. It does come pre-cut like this into your one metre by 90 centimetre pieces, but easy to piece together if you did want to do a larger project. But if I'm honest, I think this is more aimed for smaller projects. I wouldn't, you don't need to, you'd use a different kind of wadding if you're doing a big quilt. Um, so I would say for smaller projects, this is ideal. And it's so soft. It's lovely. Okay, there's only 100 units of this left. Now, every single time we talk about Thermalan, I will say, just grab it whilst you can. Um, I know that we're having a few technical difficulties today on Freeview, so this is exclusive at the moment to our um, Webbers and Sky viewers. Absolutely make the most of that, because if this were on Freeview, all 100 units will have been gone by now. <laughs> £5.99 for your Thermalan. Um, okay, we've also got recyclable pellets. These, uh, well, these are recycled pellets, sorry. Um, great for your doorstops if you've got any of our Sewing Street doorstops. Sorry, I'm missing them from out here today, aren't I? So the Sewing Street doorstops are ideal to just make yourself a little bag, a little um, sack that you can put some of these in and it will just obviously weigh them down for bookends, things like that. Any um, toys, obviously be be aware. If they are toys, I wouldn't give them to little children, but I'm thinking for any toys that are going to sit on a shelf as ornamental, you could weigh down their feet or weigh down their bums so they actually sit on the shelf. Do you know what I mean? Um, also, be a bit aware of what you are filling your projects with if you want to, um, if you do want to have them as... Um, <laughs> if you do want to have them as doorstops. The reason being, I know Hannah was telling us that if you use rice, then you can get weevils. They will grow. <laughs> you can get weevils. If you can use dishwasher salts, um, you can get, if it gets wet, it can get a bit foamy, a bit soapy. So it is great. These are recycled, which is obviously important. These are your polythene pellets. And look, they're a whole kilogram with no extra postage. I must say, I am very strong. Haven't been to the gym, but um, yeah, a kilogram is a lot, isn't it? Bearing in mind, you know when you go to the post office, what's the first thing they ask you to do when you take a parcel? Put it on the scales, and then they obviously will um, determine your your shipping cost effectively. Whereas here, it's only three ninety five, no matter how much you buy. Even if you're getting a sewing machine today, it's still only one p and p. Right, we've also got the little bobbin case. Oh, I love this. We're dropping the price. Look, it comes with this really lovely cushioned case. And then you can keep all of your bobbins nice and in order. Do you know what I would do? I would have, if you use a lot of bobbins, you could have them all stock, stock, stacked in there. And then you can use this for something else, couldn't you? That's a lovely case. And it's really cushioned. That's like a pin cushion in there as well. It's lovely and secure. It's not going to get all linty and dust. It's They're not going to get all knotted in there. You can see what you've got. Uh, I know we were talking to Sarah yesterday about how many bobbins she was using for her quilt and she was saying she got through five different bobbins. So I know that you do need to change them quite frequently if you're doing large uh, projects. So it's nice to be able to have them all there and you can see what colours you've got and how many you need to wind before, before you're... Um, you know, before you start a new project. Just £4.99 for your grey bobbin case. It's lovely quality as well. Nice little clip on it. Storage, more storage. This is your spool organiser. So it's enough to fit 27 of your regular sized spools. Um, Kat's got three of these. All of the pinks and oranges, all the reds and reds and um, browns and, you know, blues and greens and another one. It's really handy to have. They're lovely quality. 
you can see what you've got and for £4.99 it's better than just chucking it in a drawer especially as you've got those nice little spool pins in so you can fit up to 27 you know regular size you know like the Guterman uh, size spools just four pounds and 99 pence sorry I know that we are um, running out of time other things that I want to show you magnet tins oh okay we've got them on their own um right which one have you got the stripe which is that one Simplicity, sim, simplicity. I don't know why I struggle. I'd struggle to say that word then. And it just is a hinged tin like that. So it's got a magnet in the bottom as well to keep your pins in. Three pounds ninety-nine. They're lovely tins to take on the move, aren't they? I'm guessing it's this one then. We've also got that one. The other one isn't available on its own. It's avail only available in the bundle, which is still less than £10 if you want to get all three. There is a little saving if you get all three. And again, remember, it's got the little uh, magnet at the bottom so that you can put your pins in and they're not going to, to fall out. Very, very low of, on the bundle, actually. Very, very low on the bundle if you do want all three of them you do make a bit of a saving of two pounds. So you do get all three of those this time. You can't get the pink one on its own. The only way of getting the pink one is in the bundle. Saving of two pounds for your little hinged magnetic tins, £9.97. Right, we've also got your straps. I love webbing. I think it's a great way of just quickly having really lovely stable back handles. If you're anything like me and you tend to shove quite a lot in your bag these are really really handy what i like about these though is you could use them for all sorts i'm going straight to bag handles but actually you could use this for almost like jewelry you could make um belts with this you could make uh loads of things i'm thinking to embellish what about dungarees like straps for dungarees they'd look lovely or a dress just a black dress with a rainbow strap would look really nice Two pounds and ninety nine for your one meter webbing strap. This is the lowest price of our avalanche. This is the lowest price. So if you have bought anything today, you just want to stock up your basket to make the most of the fact you're only paying one p and p. Then that's brilliant. See, I love the webbing. Don't get me wrong; they're lovely and neutral. But I know quite often we tend to cover them. This, oh, it's gorgeous! Multicolor rainbow webbing for two ninety nine. We've also got, who's it for? We've also then got the um, other colours. It's still rainbowy, but it's uh, this is your multicolour bright. £2.99 for a whole metre of your bright stripes. That's great, isn't it? Do check out as soon as you can. I know we're really, 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 really low on price. So check out as soon as you can. It's the first time I've seen that one. I do like the brights. Last thing in the hour. Again, £2.99. Something that is so essential. Something we all need. And it's a lovely quality one. Don't get me wrong. I know that with the majority of your machines, you'll get a little seam ripper. But this has got a really nice soft grip handle. If you're anything like me and tend to do a lot of unpicking, and I'm not talking about like doing a Bargello quilt where you need to do um, seam ripping just out of sheer frustration. It, um, it does take a lot of use, my seam ripper, so it's handy to have a nice quality one, especially when it's less than three pounds. You may as well, if you've already paid your postage and packaging, just two pounds 99. We did it. We got to the end of our avalanche. We got through everything. If there's anything that you missed out on don't forget to go back to the website and have a good look through um what's that sorry oh yeah if there's anything you want to see again if you missed anything we can bring it back later on at 11 o'clock if you'd like we've got some amazing mode of fabrics coming up and some brand new cotton fact canvases which i was supposed to show you at the start of the show <gasps> some have already sold out okay not the atlas one i'm hoping the atlas one is still available have a look it's amazing it's beautiful oh the sunflowers one's gone 
That was one we were going to show you. Anyway, um, stay where you are. We have got sensational cr um, quilts for scrap lovers. So anybody who wants to use up any of the little bits that you've got in your scraps and stay tuned. It's got a great book, some beautiful bundles. And of course, Sally Ann Harrison, who's going to lead the demo. Do not go anywhere. We're back after this. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seams stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual, always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. If you want more hints and tips, then why not go to Sewing Street on channel 74 on Freeview, on Sky 670, and of course we have a YouTube channel where you can catch up on previous demonstrations. We'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good, it's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. 
Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Welcome back. Well done to everybody who's checked out the basket on all the bargains, by the way, during the break. There were loads of other items that, that managed to sell out, so well done if you've got anything. Now, the quilt behind me, as if by magic, has appeared, and it's awesome, isn't it? I absolutely love these beautiful bright flashes of colour, and I really like how they've used so many different fabrics as scraps. Now, it all comes from this book, which is brilliant. 11 different projects easily pieced projects for um, scrap lovers. Now, I know that we all have a, quite a big stash at home, so it's great to be able to dive into your, your, your um, favorite fabrics and some of the smaller off-cut pieces that you just can't bear to part with uh, and use them in a beautiful quilt. So, I mean, these could be fabrics that you've collected over, over years. Um, we are gonna go through the book in quite detail with Sally Ann, so I'll just quickly skip through now because I know that she talks about systems of color and different um, ways of using different shapes and bias shapes and odd sizes and how to work with your scraps and also then color theory, which we will talk about with Sally Ann. Talking about curves, I know that we briefly mentioned curves earlier on in the last show, um, but giving you great tips and then You've got some fantastic quilts in here and you can see that Judy absolutely loves working with different colours and how important that gradient and that ombre is and how to create that and how that affects the overall look of the quilt. So it goes through loads of different projects and they're big quilts, you know. This one, 74 inch by 85 and a half inches. So lovely sizes, split screens, Today, we're working on this one, which is Precious Metals. It goes through everything that you need, um, the different colours. It talks you through all of the cutting process. Obviously, what I would probably do is make yourself a bit of a key, especially if you're going for the bundle that we're going to introduce in a second. The finished size of it is 60 and a half by 70 and a half inches. So it's a big quilt, isn't it? And I mean, yeah, it does look beautiful. It is epic. You've then also got great step-by-step -step instructions, which we'll go through with Sally Ann. But there's so many projects in here. I love a little teepee one, sleepy tiny teepee town. It's so good, isn't it? So you could over time sort of use lots of your scraps and put them into little piles, have a bit of a sort through of all of your, your, your purple shades, all of your greens, all of your blues, all of the warm browns and different colors and make some beautiful quilts in here. £23.99. If you think about that in terms of price per quilt pattern and then also all of the knowledge that Judy is talking about when you're, you know, putting together different colours, it's almost like when we're talking about the Nicholas Ball um, book yesterday. What I like about these books, the one yesterday and today, is that they're almost setting you up to be able to work out yourself how you start designing your own quilts and how you start designing and putting together colours. I think it's a skill in itself to be able to work out right what works together well. I feel like I am getting better at it. Thank you. Thank you, Kat. She says, you are. You're getting better. I felt like it was a real weakness of mine was I don't know what colours go together. I'm not very daring when it comes to putting colours together. But this book is fantastic about it. So £23.99. It's just sensational quilts. Um, now our team have put together a fab selection of fabrics that are going to work really, really well for this. So you've got all of your sort of solids and your greys, which are primarily going to be obviously the strips in between your columns down there to build up the, the dark greys. And what I'm thinking as well, I mean, this is going to look great with the greys as well, but well, I like the idea of it. 64.99, which is eight meters of fabric. So you've got loads and loads and loads to play around with here. It's enough to do the quilt, but I would then be thinking, right, I'm going to dive into my scraps and just see what small fabrics as well I've got in the purples and I've got in the blues and I've got in the pinks and, and the different ones to mix in. So then you can see nice little elements of maybe some of your favorite liberties or favorite moders or any of the scraps that you've got. So let me go through exactly what you are getting here. So your greys first, you're getting a meter of dark gray, 
and a meter of elephant. And then you're getting all of these beautiful fabrics. That's pink flowers on poplin, half a meter. Ditzy stars, half a meter on navy. This has got a lovely metallic silver to it. I think that was one for our Christmas showcases, actually. That's so nice. But now we've put it with, you know, other fabrics. Works really, really well. See, you could always, if you there's one fabric that you particularly love and you've got another project in mind, there's loads of fabric here. You could swap out some from your own stash, can't you? I'd love that. Half a metre of your spot on again, poplin weight. Half a metre of your tulips. Tulips on pink. Half a metre of your spotty blue. Half a metre of that... Um, lovely mottled peacock blue. This is cool. I've never seen the sand castles. That's Lewis and Irene designer fabric. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Designer Lewis and Irene sand castles fabric. Then also got your rose. You've then got purple, half a metre. Half a metre of your navy blue spot. Or deep dark blue, navy blue spot, I should say. It's a really lovely midnight blue. And then this one, again, has got silver metallic spots. Half a metre, $64.99. That is a great selection of fabric, isn't it? For less than £70. It's a great stash builder, even overall. If you're using some of your scraps or some from your stash as well. I'm excited to see how this comes together. Eight metres of fabric for $64.99. That is a lot of fabric fabric amazing don't forget to check out on the book you will need the struck for the instructions those of you that have not yet um shopped with us this is how you get involved Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. So we've got a gorgeous quilting project. Don't worry, Sally. I know that we're doing a speedy, quick change of feet and all sorts here. Um, you carry on with, with, okay. with sorting that. We're having a, a good look at this gorgeous quilt. It's beautiful, isn't it, Sally Ann? I it's love lovely. the contrasting colours. Yeah. And great to be able to work with, you know, scraps as well. I think this um, book is going to be a brilliant sort of technique builder and, and scrap buster as well. Absolutely. It's really unusual as well. Yeah, it's quite contemporary quilt. Uh, it really, is. Yeah, yeah, quite a contemporary quilt. Um, so, working with the book, you've got 11 different projects in here. Obviously, we're working with the... Um, one second. Bear with us, bear with us, bear with us. We're working with the... What's this? Um, I can't remember where it is. I've lost it, I've lost it, I've lost it. But it's a big quilt, isn't it, Sally Ann? The finished size of it, I think, if I wasn't mistaken. Yep. You're all right. We're all organised. We're right. getting there. Um, getting there. The precious metal. There it is. Thank you. you found Page it. fifty-six. So you get loads of fabric, which is enough for the front and the binding. Loads. Right. Yes. Loads and loads. Um, you might want to do spiral binding. It's showing you sort of just single binding there, but spiral binding would work as well. You know. Oh yeah. We're talking using, about doing yeah, scrappy binding. Scrappy. Yeah. Sort of look binding. But yeah, it's an amazing book. Um, she's obviously a bit of a colour junkie to sort of flick through and she's got like you said earlier on loads of tips about colour so right do you agree with me that this i think is a bit of a skill in itself yep there's there's two camps isn't there there's mm -hmm. there's the art camp that like to just throw things out there and then there's the more scientific approach which appreciates sort of colour theory right go on um so 
I, I tend to be a bit more on the artistic side rather than the colour theory, but the colour theory is really useful if you're one of those people that goes into a quilt shop and goes, I've got no idea about colour. Yeah. yeah. I've got no idea. So it's a really good place to start. Um, and one of the things I came across, I've never seen this before in a, in a book. No, your colour yeah. wheel. Yeah, so it, the colour wheel, but with a triangle superimposed on top of it. And the idea is that the triangle points to colours that will go together. So even if you rotated that triangle, it would still point to three colours that would work well together. Yeah, yeah. And that is your clever. Triads, your yeah. complementary yeah. triads or whatever That's it is. It, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Um, and then she talks about organising your scraps, yeah. um, you know, by colour. Well, now, I organise my scraps by colour, but this lady takes it to another level. <laughs> oh, wow. Like all different shades. Yeah, shows. yeah. So how important is that with this quilt? Because I know we were talking earlier on about how many different fabrics are used in this bundle. Obviously, we look by the half metre. We're not going to be giving you loads and loads of scraps when you don't necessarily, you're not going to use them all. No. It's not cost effective. So we are sort of asking you as well to dive into your scraps. We've given you the sort of base fabrics, yeah. but then to think about those different shades that are going to work well with this. Yes, and to sort of like try and pull some things that are perhaps from your um, from your scraps that are different um, density and different scale, because that okay. always works to get together. So can you see that this, this is a much larger scale print to say this one? Yeah. So there's a good mix there. Um, we've given you, there's loads of spots in the bundle, so you'd go for something perhaps, you know, something big to go against the spots. Nice. Um, the idea being that if you use different scales within the quilt, you get something that doesn't look too flat. Yeah. Use something of all the same scale and you'll get a very flat looking quilt. So where are your blocks on here? Because it's quite <laughs> difficult to sort of see. When you're looking at it from know. there, you're like, hang on, so where are the blocks? It's all so sort of scrappy, you can't really see I must admit, I looked at it at the first one and thought, well, where is the block? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, and this is the block here. I don't know if you can... Ah! Or, or, so well, let's just look at one purple one. There you go. Yeah. And so are they all um, the same block? Yep. All the same, all the way through. Three and a half inch squares. Very, very straightforward. Fantastic. So you get yourself a bit of a production line. Yep. I imagine the majority of the time at the start will be in the organising your fabrics and the, the cutting. Yes. Yes. I must admit I got my husband on the cutting. Oh, no. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Handy husband. Um, and it's unlike uh, different quilts. I know that you've put together a row for us, but the instructions actually state to put together yeah, the columns. Yeah, it's the first time I've actually come across, I haven't seen a, a book before that actually says this quilt is pieced in columns. So right. unusual. But I mean, I think it would work just as well pieced in rows. So there are columns that they're talking about is sort of, so you'd piece a grey column and then the purple column and then two grey and work your way across that way. But what I've done is actually done the top row so that you can see all the colours, because if I just come, <laughs> I'd, all I'd given you is the grey row, you wouldn't get to see the sort of colour gradient. So yeah, well, I've got the top row, which I'll show you in a minute, and we'll start working across that way with our three and a half inch squares. Brilliant. Right, so where are we starting today then? You've made up a bit of a, a row, haven't you? Yes, I've made up a row. So the quilt is actually called, there is precious metals in the book, and this is what a row looks like. So, I don't know how, I'll, how much of it this I'm going to get in the shot. Ooh. Probably need to hold it out, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. No. There you go. Did he you say, that's fine? <laughs> you can yeah. see it all just starting to come together there. Perhaps if I put it on the, if I move this no, forward. No, it's all good. Yeah? Yeah, fab. So okay. you, your grey ones obviously can see, and when it all will start to come together again, yeah. you'll see those colours coming through. Brilliant. Yes. Right, so you start off by actually Ooh. cutting some three and a half inch squares, which I have. So. Okay. so I've got like a variety so I've got all the coloured ones separate. So I've organised them. So I've got two, so two purple colours together, two of the pinks together. So that's what makes sense. Right, so what colours are our rows okay, that we're so, doing? Because obviously these are yellow, blue. So I've got red two, and purple. two of the pinks, Pink, those two blues, blues, purples, and those two blues. Right. With the sandcastles. Oh, I love that fabric. Yeah, I like that. So, 
if you just right we're going to take two of these so all of your cutting instructions are very yep. clear as i say it's all three and a half inch squares all the way through and then you, you make the block and then you cut it to oh. a five and a half inch block so okay so if i'm just gonna sew these two together right sides together with a quarter inch seam i'll get used to this Right. We on? We're on, but we're not going all the way across. Your needle in the right position? Yeah. What are you changing? I'm changing it to quilting to quarter of an inch. There we go. I mean, there's 300 sti there's 350 stitches on the screen. I know not all uh, machines have a quarter of an inch setting, but it's good that this one, this one does. Feed dogs in the right position. Yeah. Is that what it was saying? Yeah. I like that it tells you, it's not going to let you do something you're not allowed to do. So we'll sew a few of these together to get started. That's two. So you want to sort of get some randomly sewn together. Okay. Literally picking out any of your greys yeah. or any of your colours. Just the greys I'm going to focus Just on grays. for the moment. Now are you right sides together? Yep, right sides together. So I'm chain piecing them through. What's so the benefit of chain piecing? It just enables you to keep going and also it stops you sort of being inaccurate, sort of starting on the next one. Okay. So, and it saves on your thread. Oh, I think it's got it done. done put itself a little bit unhappy. That's okay. Did it chew it up a little bit? It chewed it up a little bit, but we've got what we're aiming for anyway. So I'm going to take those two apart. We've got the iron still here. Yeah. Is it all plugged in? You plugged in? Yeah. Ironing board. Yeah, behind you here. Sorry. Oh, the really big one. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Right. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how my little ones. Come it out. just seems a bit crazy to put this one. All right. We're all in. Right. Okay. So you would just set the seam, the hot iron, to embed it, and then just flip it towards the darker one or A one. That's just done it to one side. The same. Ah, that's it. You've just done this automatically, but somebody told me this and I didn't realise that if you want to sew to the side, for example, like you said, the dark side, if you have the dark side up, yes. it automatically goes. It goes that way, yeah. Because I always get a bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> so that's a really good way of knowing which side to which side it's gonna press. Yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna put one on top of the other. So these are right sides together. And you want to nest the seams that are there in the middle. So I might put a little pin. I've got a bigger pin for these. Just through there, stop it moving around. Uh, that's again, the, the, that's where it, 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 it is worth taking that extra couple of seconds, isn't it? To yeah. be able to get the point. Although actually, are your points, where is it that your points are going to meet on this? You don't, your eyes don't get drawn to any points. Then. No, they don't. So if you are so worried if you about do have a little meeting. bit of a wobble, it's no major, yeah, exactly, it's no major event. Right, so all I'm going to do now is take those, I've nested the seams together and I'm going to sew down either side, which seems a little bit of a strange thing to do. Let's hope the machine's happy now. Threaded. Oh, no. <laughs> it's one of those days yes. today, isn't it? Technical gremlins are here and the machine's not playing ball. Oh, and you're going to say to me in a minute, oh, oh it's got a needle. fancy automatic needle, needle threader. threader. I've just threaded it. 
Just threaded it the good old fashioned way. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Is it? That's what's something going on with the bobbin. Yeah, maybe we just check the bobbin. Sort of... Don't worry, whilst you're having a look at that, um, just a quick reminder with the book, uh, all of your instructions are... Oh, one second, sorry, we're just going to change the camera so you can have a look at the book. All of your instructions for all of them are ever so clear. You've got really beautiful full instructions. And, and I just think it's a really good way of, of injecting a little bit of colour into your into your workroom, isn't it? Or into your home. Especially so with the greys. I think lots of us sort of steer still towards the different greys and neutral tones. So it's nice to just have that little pop of colour. It's not necessarily um, all colour, colour, colour. It's still got those nice neutral tones. But actually, it's still going to, um, oh no, bleeping at you and everything. <gasps> uh, it's still going to be able to inject great colour. I'm just trying to find where we are. There it is. Uh, so, £23.99. All of your instructions there in the book. It's 60 and a half inches by 70 and a half inches. And it's not just, it's not just the quilt patterns that you get in this. It's also the techniques and the theory behind it. As I say, at the start of the book, she is a real sort of lover of colour and injecting some great colours in here. So learn colour advice to marry scraps of every size, shape and colour and print. Unique cutting techniques to reduce the need for template. The most economical way for shirt to sew. So 11 quilts from throws to bedsides, bed sizes as well. So really nice extra large quilts. This one's a really great size quilt. But you can see very clear instructions. Just £23.99. pence. How's the machine doing, Sally Ann? Not very well. I can't get it to... It might be because it's getting near the end of the bobbin. Oh. Sorry. We, would you like us to um, swap the machine over? Yes. <laughs> right. Um, just while Paul's <laughs> running around, um, we can show you for anybody, just while we swap the machine over, uh, for anybody who has never bought with us before, if you do want to check out on the book or any of the fabrics, uh, then this is how you can shop with us. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. But those of you that were with us, thank you so much for your patience and understanding. Um, the book is selling very, very quickly, though. I know that we all have got our, our, our stash. We've all got our scraps that we want to use up. This is going to be a fantastic way uh, of using up all of our scraps. £23.99 with 11 different quilt projects. The, the quilt and the, uh, the, the background that we, um, the, the quilt that you can see in the background as well as the one that we're working on today. All oh, fingers crossed that the machine wants to play ball, we just swap the machine over for Sally Ann. £23.99, I love this one as well, having that nice dark background with the great pops of colour. I think our machine is working. <gasps> so Nothing like live telly, eh, <laughs> Sally Ann? <laughs> Sewing on the spot, so. 
I've had to guess a quarter inch because I haven't got a quarter inch foot, so that's what we're going to do. Can go you line with. it up on something on the machine? Yeah, I've tried to line it up on a line we're on, on the foot. Did you say? I think we might be on Freeview as well. Woo woo woo! Oh, I'm never so sorry, Freeview, if you've missed us all morning, but brilliant if we've got you back. You've come in at the right time because we're not having problems with the machine or anything. <laughs> So, those of you that are just joining us, we've got obviously um, the, the book which is the graphics alive for and the bundle to make the quilt that's amazing behind Sally Ann. So, what is it you're stitching there? So, Sorry. I was just sewing a quarter inch seam down both sides. So, well, I'm guessing a quarter because I haven't got a foot at the moment. So, there we go. So, you see, I've just sewn both sides. sides. Yeah. Then I'll need a longer ruler. I've got a um, long Sorry, ruler? Paul. <laughs> we'll grab you a longer ruler. Hang, hang on. This, this one's fine. I think it's going to be oh, enough. Oh, fantastic. Yep. We're okay. Panic over. So then what you're going to do is you're going to actually just... Let's get the book open, make sure I can... Just angle up the ruler and just cut from corner to corner. What you generate are the triangles. Can you see? The main graphic will be for your fabric bundle. Eight meters of fabric, which is plenty to be able to do the whole quilt. Our team have really worked hard on putting together the different scales of print, as Sally I'm saying, really important. So that is the triangle part of the block. Right, so can so you hold that up to where that is on you? Yep. So that is like that bit right. there. Right, okay. Yep, just here, there. Yep. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the side pieces that are here and here. Mm -hmm. And use exactly the same technique. So you take two pieces. Two of your squares, yeah. is that? Yep. Sew them together. I suppose when you get in a bit of a production line, yes. you could just chain piece them all, couldn't yep, you? Yeah, exactly. You can just keep going and keep going. It's like a kite tail then, isn't it? You get this great yeah. one. Yeah. I know, cooking on gas now, aren't we, with this machine? <laughs> Um, Kat just said the complete wrong saying. She said, we're running on steam. <laughs> like steam train, okay, I get it. It had um, logic, just the wrong saying. Right. And do you press at every point, yes. all of these points? Yeah, or you could use um, one of those little roller. Yeah. Um, it's up to you or the, whether you're going to jump up and use a little... Okay, so again, like you said, if you put the darker one uppermost, and when you peel it back, you can just set the seam. Okay. It's nice to be able to, I think, just add in some of your favourite little scraps as well. They're yeah. all made, like you say, from five inch squares, aren't they? From three and a half inches. Three and a half, half inches, inch so yeah. you don't need, yeah, very big um, squares that have been left over from other projects. No, no. And also, you find that your scraps have memories. Yeah, yeah you know, when you get something out, you go, oh yeah, that's what I made with so and so, you know, or where you bought it. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to nest these in exactly the same way, um, but I'm not going to sew down the sides this time. I'm just going to cut diagonally across it. Ah, okay, so you're not having to pin at the nest, it nope. seems. Just going to cut straight through. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add these pieces. I'll tell you what, I had no idea that that would have come from um, the squares the way it did. No, it's, weird. it's strange, isn't it? You yeah. just don't see it. 
I would, I'm going to finger press these open to save me just getting the ironing board up. I would finger press all of mine sort of open. Right. Just to sort of reduce bulk. bulk yeah. Come up quite. Right. So then you're going to match that with that. So just you can see at the bottom it's just a little bit too long and that's your quarter inch, can you see? Ah, so yeah. don't worry, you haven't cut it wrong. It's no. not wrong. I would be thinking, oh, that doesn't match up. No. So you're actually getting a quarter of an inch either, either end, both sides, a quarter of an inch? Just, yeah, just slightly. I don't know if you can see that. It's yeah. difficult to tell because it's Hang dark on, just fabric. Don't, just, if you hold it there, then you'll be able to see in a second. Right, yeah, we can see that. So, again, just using a quarter inch seam, just going to go down the side. Then you would press that out towards so that the seam is outwards. I wouldn't open that one, I just press it outwards. And be be a bit cautious with that one because remember that one's it's actually a bias, so okay. you don't want to over press that because you don't want to distort it. Could we best press it? Yeah, you could have best pressed it before you start. You could have starched yeah, all your fabric before you started, that would help. So you're doing the same, same again thing with the other side? side? Yeah, exactly the same. Just a minute, I start at the bottom, I'll work my way. Even though you're starting on a point, I mean, I'm not going to um, jinx this now. <laughs> it doesn't chew it up, does it? Do you, do you ever start slightly in and reverse out so it doesn't chew? Or how yes, do you get by? Sometimes. It depends. If, you, if you've chewed fabric, you know, you, it's very difficult to unchew it. Yeah. So I wouldn't, deliberately wouldn't start on a chewed point again. Right. Got a little bit of a wobble at the top. See how this is going to come together. Right. So that's a block, essentially. Yeah, but isn't you it? need to trim it to five and a half. Right. Would you give it a good press yes. first? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> give it a little press. Nope. I'm just thinking from experience, I would not press as much as I probably should, and I don't think you get the accuracy that you, you do when you give it a press. No. And this time we'll give that a little. Go down the middle, push that out towards the outside. I suppose you've got all of the little dog ears, haven't you, on the sides. Do you need to trim quite a bit of this? So you trim it to five and a half. Right. And they they talk about using a template, a five and a half inch template where the sides actually cross. What do you mean? So like this, this is what they talk about using. Ah, okay. So that's their template sat on, on top of their So block. can you make your own? Could yes, you, make your you own could make your own, yeah, you could do. Um, but I found that, because I've not used a bang on quarter inch seam, I found that it was, for me and my blocks, if I put it on the line of this triangle, yeah. my ruler on that line, that that was two inches from there. See, that's a great thing about these creative grid rulers. They've got lots of lines that you can sort of, you know, nudge up against yeah. to make sure you're accurate. So then I've got like a, a dictum point, a, a point that I can go from, and I know that I've got my quarter inch seam allowance in there. Mm -hmm. So I so know I'm all right, I've got somewhere to go. Um, and then it's five and a half inches. So, 
a line up on five and a half. All these, by the way, are your eight and a half inch ruler graphic, £16.99. Definitely worth adding one of those to your basket because sometimes, don't get me wrong, big rulers are great, especially when you're cut, cutting full uh, meterage when you're working with the full width, but actually quite cumbersome when you're looking at a small, yeah. a smaller block. You don't need a 24 and a half inch ruler. So I do like these little squares. And then if you put your block this way around, you know you want a five and a half inch block. So if you look at the centre line, you want two and three quarter inches from the centre line each time. I'm going to trim it there as well. Are you good at maths, Sally? <laughs> yeah. You're good at maths, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, You've done all the hard work for us, just write down all these <laughs> measurements and watch it back on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, in my former life, I was a statistician. What? What is, what's that? A statistician? I can't even say it. Yeah, what? I did data and statistics for Ofsted. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so... There is a finished block. Amazing. So you, so you get rid of all that outside edge and you get a nice, neat piece to start putting together. Lovely. So would you, when you did the, your row, would you literally do it block by block or would you do it and then do all of your cutting, all of your trimming? If it was me, I'd do all of the cutting to start off with. Yeah. I don't usually say that. I, well, I might, I might do a row just yeah. to see, I, you know, am I happy with it? Yeah. And then do the rest of it. Yeah. 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 So, yes, yeah, so that's going to go in here. The other thing that's happening here, I don't know if you can see, it, is it's actually um, it's changing direction. So it, here it's that way up, then it's that way up, then it's that way up, right. then it's that way up. Ah, yeah, yeah, we just saw that. If you go back up again. Okay, so here it's this way up. Yeah. And then the next row is down. Ah. The next row is up. Next row nice. is down. And again, it's the same concept with all of your coloured fabrics yes. as well for those strips in the colour. Yeah, but you can see also that so all the grey ones in the top row are, are pointing downwards, but all the coloured ones are pointing upwards. Right. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I can just see that. So it's a sort of secondary design going on there. So in the bundle that you're getting, we've got pinks and blues, basically, haven't we? The purples and the pinks and then the darker blues and the lighter blues, haven't we? It's yep. just strips of colour. But if you add your little scraps in as well, it'd be lovely. Yes, it would be. Definitely. Do you want me to, like, I do a coloured one so that you can yeah, just see. Yeah, let's see the coloured one. How are we getting on for time, Paul? We've got about 10 minutes. Find my coloured ones. Here we go. So you're going for the pink. So, yeah, just so you can see what they look like against each other. So... Now, you know some of these are like a poplin weight, a lighter weight. Yeah. Does that make a difference? No, it didn't. No? No, it was fine. So this one I've just sewn the first stage. So I'm just going to open out the back. I think a lot of people worry about using different weights of fabrics. Yeah, that, I didn't notice, you know, there's nothing particularly noticeable about that. And I was whizzing it through the machine. I suppose once you get a bit of a production line going, it actually comes together in no time because you sort of, once you get the hang of how to do the block. Yes. I mean, that's always the best bit. When you sort of, you reach a point, don't you, with the same project, when you suddenly crack it. Yeah. And it's like, yes, I'm not, and you're actually hitting it right every single yeah. time and the blocks are coming out production line and it's like, yes, it's a glory moment. Yeah. <laughs> Got there. It's a, good, it's a nice little block to have that you could do, almost use this as borders for the quilt. You know, sometimes they use quite plain borders around. They'd look nice as just all in, in a border of a, a quilt. Or you could use them. You don't need to necessarily do the whole full quilt. You could stop at certain rows and do cushion, or you could do, um, yeah, like uh, table runners, couldn't you? Yeah, you could do. Um, in the book, the same pattern is repeated. So. They do it so sleepy tiny town. Oh, a TP one. one. That is a, ver a variation of the same block. Oh, fantastic. Yep. It looks so different. And what was the other one? There were three. You might need to bring it forward if that's okay. Yeah, Thank that's you. Fine. So there were three. So it was precious metals. The sleepy tiny town. 
which you can see is just a variant of the same thing. Or... Looks like different. Oh, and that one's a similar type. The fractured type, four, four patch, which is a five and a half inch square. It's the identical block, but a five and a half inch square. To, you know, you start with five and a half inch square. Yeah. So. I like how you use your clips, by the way. We're talking about the uh, the, the multi -sew multi-purpose sewing clips earlier. Oh, yeah. Use them as a bookmark as well. <laughs> there you go. There's another use for them. There they are. <laughs> oh, Kat's had a meeting with... Um... Oh, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Kat's in trouble, basically. Oh, see, it looks beautiful in the pink colourway as well, doesn't it? So I'm just going to give that little press down the middle. Oop. There you go. Use out towards the sides. Had you already done part of this, or is that? Yeah. Well, yeah, right. I was going to say, <laughs> that was really quick. So I'd made the centre one, I just hadn't put the sides on. Oh, I like the fact they've got the different scales of print as well. The yes. tulips look lovely. Yeah, they do. They're not too small. You can still, s they're not too small pieces. You still get to see the uh, elements of the uh, the print, don't you? Yeah. Does the rotating cutting mat help to square off when yeah. you're doing this? Yeah. You use them a lot. Well, don't I do. You? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you remember every first yeah. thing I say when I walk in here. Rotating, rotating mat. Cutting mat. Yeah. <laughs> So just remind us where you're lining up to. So I'm, what size, size do these need to be finished? They need to be five and a half inch finished. And what are they now? Are they far off? Um, so what are they now? They're uh, one. Nearly six. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. like little slivers on each side. Yeah. Come off. So I'm going to line up the two and a half inch on my ruler. I don't know if you if you can see that it gives me a perfect quarter of an inch above that apex, which is where I want my seam to go along the top. Literally got a few more minutes. Okay. So then, I mean, you could measure it from the middle, or you can measure five and a half. So I'm lining up the five and a half line, going from the line that I've just cut. And then I'm going to use that centre line to help me line up two and three quarter inches because it's a five and a half mm -hmm. inch block so I want two and three quarter inches from the middle so you would take that off. So that do we have any of the rotating cutter parts in stock cat or are they out of stock Oh no, they're in. I think the other day when we tried to do it, they weren't in stock. The the one that Sally Ann's using is in stock. Brilliant. So that would be what two of them begin to look like together. So that would be like almost the beginning. Actually, it wouldn't be quite the beginning, would it? It would be the other way around. Yeah, so yeah. like you say, the greys point yeah. down, down and the colours are pointing, pointing up. up. Oh, nice. Well, so then you just keep making They're all the same block. It's, if anybody was new, maybe this could be like your first big quilt project. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. And just keep going doing the same thing. Um, and then you're going to join it. Well, if you're going to go with the book, you're going to join it in columns mm -hmm. or you could join it in rows um, like I've done. And quilting. I mean, there's they've obviously had a long arm quilter quilting this, but um, there's so many options because you've got lots of seams. You've got a grid there, basically, to follow if you want to do minimal quilting. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, or they've they've used what they they've done some sort of swirls, haven't they? Yeah. But yeah, you could um, like birds. Yeah, they're birds on there. Can you see? I don't think Are you can they? see on camera, but they're little birds. Yeah. Wow, I can see birds. that. 
Yeah, or you could you could just use some of the lines and just ditch, you know, stitch in the ditch, couldn't you, and keep going in places. And the other thing you can do is you could play with it and try and recess. Perhaps you could, re if you sort of densely quilt the grey areas and lightly quilt the red, then you're bringing that forward more. Uh -huh. So you're adding, you know, that level of dimension. Yeah. So you could really take that back and really bring the colour forward. Oh, lovely. It's a good way of playing with it. I'm ever so sorry that we haven't had time. I think with the kerfuffle with the machine, we haven't had time to do the um, binding demo, but you're back That's soon right. anyway, aren't you? for another day. Yes, brilliant. When are you back next, sally Um, I think it's the 2nd of September now. 2nd of September. Yeah. Lovely. We'll see you then. Thank you ever so Thank much you. today. Well done on being a pro <laughs> and keeping chilled under the uh, the technical <laughs> difficulty gremlins with our machine. Normally when that happens at home, you can just have a bit of time out from your machine and yeah. walk away, can't you? And then it fixes itself. But anyway, thank you very much. Um, those of you that haven't yet uh, had chance to have a good look at the fabrics we're going to have a quick recap and have a look at the book but this is how you get involved Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Right, so this quilt, this time we put together a bit of a different fa fabric bundle to go with it, with the same sort of effect. So you're still going to get these grey stripes and you're still going to get all of the lovely colours. So you've got purples, you've got blues, you've got pinks and um, like a lighter, a lighter blue as well. But it's beautiful fabric. You've got designer fabrics in here, Lewis and Nyrene. It's gorgeous, £64.99 and, and that's for eight meters of fabric it has been very 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 popular indeed um even as a stash builder you know if you've got a different project in mind or if you've got certain fabrics that you want to use um, the book for the book is separate so i'll introduce that in a second but i do love these colors together you've got some great complementary color complementary colors so you're getting a meter and a half oh sorry a meter of dark gray a meter of elephant and then half a meter of all of your beautiful cotton poplin, cotton poplins, the ditzy stars, the metallic silver. That's amazing, isn't it? Half a meter of your purple spot as well. Like a beautiful mauve, lovely plum. And that one goes perfectly with it, doesn't it? We saw these coming together and the tulips are gorgeous. Tulips on pink. Um, half a meter, I don't think you can even get that on its own anymore. It's only in the bundle. Um, half a meter of the purple as well for these lovely purples that you can see on the quilt. Rose and Hubble fabrics, they're beautiful. You've got the um, midnight blue. The metallic spot as well on cream. Your rose spot as well. Your Lewis and Irene sandcastles. Good mix of different scales of prints as well. I really, really do like that one. And that one's designer Lewis and Irene fabric. First time I've even seen it. And you can still pick out some of the elements as well if you want to like fussy cut almost. Well, I think because of the scales of print, it will all automatically almost fussy cut. Like I noticed on this one, they've got a little dashing dog that you just see every now and then and the little girl with the cushion, with the, um, with the balloons. So it, I think you're still gonna see those elements quite clearly because they're still nice size um, fabrics. Half a meter of the sandcastles, half a meter of your blue model effect and then also you get your spot, which is that lovely baby pastel blue, just £64.99, and that's for all eight metres of fabric. So great stash builder. 
isn't it? Um, now, if you do just have loads of scraps and you just don't know what to do with them, if you want to put them together in beautiful quilts, this is great. And I can see actually now, just changing the different colours and changing the placements, how that can be like the tiny, te uh, the tiny teeny sleepy town teepee. This one, the sleepy tiny teepee town. Uh, but we were looking at the, the beautiful, 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 uh, here it is, precious metals. The precious metals block uh, it, the quilt is 60 and a half centimetres by 70 and a half centimetres. And just make yourself a little key of assorted scraps or, or what fabrics you're using for what so you can um, you can match it up with your instructions. But there's some really, really fabulous quilts in here. I love that one. True North. It's amazing. Some beautiful prints in here and great way of using colour. So it starts at the uh, start of the book talking about colour theories and the science behind it. Uh, and I find colour, picking colour is quite scary and knowing which colours are going to match each other or complement each other. So it will go through in a real, in real depth about this, using odd shapes and bias edges don't you know avoid them completely but it will just give you the tips of how to handle them 23 pounds and 99 pence that's your sensational quilts for scrap lovers which we absolutely love very very popular book indeed just 23 pounds and 99 pence just quickly uh the wadding i know that sally ann would recommend for you is the 80 20 which is your cotton poly mix it's queen size, 90 by 108, so absolutely perfect for, you know, a big quilt like the one that we're looking at today. It's £32.99. It's got a lovely weight to it, a lovely warm cotton batting. £32.99. Obviously, it's all personal preference. This one you can stitch as close as quarter of an inch um, apart or as far as three and a half inches. So if you do want to do sort of minimal, just straight line along your, your um, blocks then you can do that quite easily with this one. Just check the packet to see. Um, and then uh, the, the polyester one is an option as well. It's on the website if you want to make the most of it. Now, because we got free view back, I'm so sorry. We've missed you all morning. We have indeed. We've been having a lovely day today. Had loads coming up. So we're going to recap some of the, the best buys from this morning. And we've also got the most amazing fabrics from Moda. We've also got brand new cotton canvas fabrics, which have been selling like hotcakes on the website. In fact, some of which have already sold out on the web. But We'll bring you everything that we have in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw, and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric, and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread.
Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalog by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hello and welcome. We love hearing from you and we really hope that you can follow us on our social media platforms. We've got Instagram, which is at Sewing Street. Uh, we have Facebook. We've got two Facebook pages. One is the Sewing Street TV page and the other one is Sewing Street Fans. All three of these are monitored all the time by our t wonderful team. And if you want to message us on air, Drop us a line on either of those three and we'll definitely be able to answer your questions that you may have. If you post on the actual wall, we can perhaps answer there. Otherwise, message us as well. That works really, really well. Thank you so much for being involved. And it's only because of this community that we're able to bring you all these different diverse products and to be able to answer your questions that you may have. Another way you can stay in touch with us is by signing up to our newsletter. These newsletters are sent out to you very regularly and they include not only our guest profiles of upcoming guests, but also amazing uh, shows that we've got coming up for you. And if you want to look at the amazing products before everybody else, that's the best way to do it. If you'd like to sign up and you haven't already, the link to follow is www.sewingstreet.com forward slash sign up. You won't regret it. Thank you. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Welcome back, welcome back, and free view, we've got you, good morning, let's just start the show again, good morning, it's 8am, it's early bird time, I'm so sorry that we've had such technical issues this morning, um, but I'm so pleased you're all with us for the final hour, we've got loads to do, we'll recap some of the products from earlier on as well, just so you don't miss out, and also we've got loads to do that were scheduled for this hour, including brand new cotton canvases, beautiful motors, uh, some of our uh, amazing plain normal uh, cotton canvases that we've had before, fat quarters that we launched earlier on this morning, loads to bring you. Let's start with the early bird though, just because I know that a lot of people miss this today and it's my favourite early bird. I actually went as far as saying I think it's one of the most popular early birds. Um, I'd say calico might tip the post slightly. When we have calico as an early bird, oh my word, it goes bonkers. But these sewing machine bags are close second, I'd say. They're back in stock. So for anybody who missed these on free view this morning, da -da, there you go, our early bird special. Uh, if you missed out on them, a special price of £15.99. Fantastic quality sewing machine bags. Can cost you, you know, double this sort of price. We're at a fantastic price. Using, you've got a... Um, Obviously, your, your, your um, pocket in the front where you can keep all of your uh, leads for your sewing machine, any of your instruction manuals, any patterns or fabric or any little notions, anything you need in there. Plus, then you've got the zip that ro opens right down to the base of the bag. So you can slot your sewing machine in nice and firmly, as you can see. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? It's got a really lovely solid. That wasn't just the table. That's a lovely solid um, base as well to protect your sewing machine as well as the little feet. I like the fact it's got a nice little um, key ring as well. How cute is that? It's got a Velcro strap and handle. 
so that it just again adds more stability and more strength to your strap because let's face it you spend a lot of money on your on your machine and sometimes they come with like a hard cover which is great but also it's nice to be able to have that canvas one that you can take on the move you can wipe clean uh, it's got the big handle on so if you are going to a relatives to sew or if you're going to uh you know a, a, a craft fair or a um, a workshop, a caravan, off in your holidays and you want to take your machine and this is going to be brilliant because they don't all come with nice carry cases like this and it's less than £16 and they say the majority of the quality sewing machine bags that I've seen in the past have been over £30. Now it isn't necessarily going to fit every machine, I'll go through the measurements, I'm just going down to the cellar to get this. Um, any of your 550, 560, uh, 570 then this is going to fit perfectly with loads of space, in fact, you could fit fabrics in there. We can fit, in fact, quarters, there's plenty of room. You can actually fit the 680 in at a squeeze, at a squeeze. So your dimensions are as follows. Height, from here to here, 32 centimeters. From here to here, 46 centimeters. And the depth, is 21 centimeters. So the depth across is 21. Um, it's £15.99, it's fantastic value for money. And it just means that you can store, even if you're thinking around the house to take it upstairs to sew or take it downstairs to sew. Of course, they're, they're quite weighty, aren't they? They don't all have a handle. So it's nice to store away and keep it dust free and lint free and all together in your sewing machine bag for £15.99. Now, I know that Paul's mom has got her eye on this one. This is brilliant. I do love the turquoise one, I must say. Turquoise is lovely. £15.99, it's got the pocket in the front. It's got the little feet on the bottom. It's got your turquoise strap uh, for £15.99. I think it's a brilliant price, isn't it? I must say, this colour, very, 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 very popular indeed. We've got slightly more on this quantity. I think there's less than 30 of the purple. There is slightly more of these, but do check out as soon as you can. As I say, it's always one of the most popular early birds. Less than 20 of the early birds, sorry. And um, yeah, a few more of these. The turquoise is always very, very popular, but I must say, um, this quality, this same bag, I think I've seen elsewhere for $21.99. So that is a very special price. It is an early bird special. If you bought anything else today, there's no extra postage and packaging if you're taking advantage of anything on the web shop or on the, or on the telly. Now, let's get going with these amazing new cut on canvases. They are gorgeous. Now, there's some, I think, that are sold out. These three we've seen before, but let's just show you because I've never done them on their own. They've always been in bundles. Um, so it's brilliant to be able to have them on their own. Aren't they amazing? Now, if you're thinking for bag making, this is going to be absolutely ideal. It's slightly heavier weight cotton. So the difference when I'm saying cotton canvas, it's not like, do you know when you imagine canvas, like what you draw on and paint on, it's not stiff, it's not, um, you know, it's really lovely and soft still, but it's a heavier weight. I know Debbie Shaw loves working with cotton canvas. Um, it was really, really lovely for bag making. Do you want to make your own sewing machine bag, maybe? £5.99 for your pink lily. This is your chance to get it by the half metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? What about for blinds? I always think cotton canvas is really good for blinds because it's slightly heavier. Don't need to worry about interfacing necessarily, you can, but um, I think this is great for like a roller blind or a Roman blind. I'd love to know how to make my own Roman blind because that'd be great for it, wouldn't it? Or cushions, seat pads for conservatory or, or dining room chairs. $5.99. Now we've also got it. Oh, you made that sound lovely then, didn't you, Kat? She went in a lovely rust colour. That reminds me, I've got a dress that my friend always will say, oh, your rust dress. I'm like, well, you're not really selling it, but yeah, it is the rust dress. It's this one. It's called rust, but 
Look at this. It's beautiful. It's like bronze ochre. That is lovely. And I like the fact that you've got, um, you know, your white lilies. They look so beautiful. Very striking, isn't it? The black and white. Especially with that background, that terracotta background. Five pounds, 99, a half metre. It's extra wide, by the way. So normally with quilting weight, you're looking at 112 wide. This is 140 wide. So it is nice and wide. Great for bag making. Fabulous for home furnishing. For five pound ninety-nine, multicolored leaves on black. Oh, these are really nice colors. So let me show you how wide it is. See what I mean? That would look beautiful as a blind, wouldn't it? Or if you want to do things like laundry baskets or storage boxes, because it's slightly weightier, it's brilliant. I know um, Wendy Orlando comes with a, a laundry bag, keeping all of her stuff in it. Hi, oh, hang on, are you doing all your, I know Debbie Shaw's been known to do her ironing here before, but um, yeah, I'm not, I didn't know there was a washing machine as well. Five pound 99, but you can make yourself a great big laundry basket with this because it is, it is heavier weight cotton canvas. I would, don't get me wrong, if you do want to still add complete sort of structure to it, I wouldn't sort of say no to interfacings. I'd still maybe use your sewing foam or your 8640 if you just want to give it even more stability, then that's going to be great, but it's lovely, lovely, lovely. I wonder whether you could, um, it's not upholstery fabric, but I wonder whether you could, like little mini footstools, almost reupholster things with it, because it, 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 I, I think it would be suitable for that. <gasps> oh, these are all brand new and they're the best ones ever. Right, you ready? I'm going to show you them all just individually, just quite quickly. Let's just flick through. Look at this. Oh, look at it. I want a cushion. I want blinds. I want everything with this. That would be a beautiful bag. <gasps> look at it. Oh, hang on, sorry, we're not just starting with that one. Let me um, flick through. <gasps> they are beautiful. Lampshades. It looks like I've seen some really, really expensive cushions with this. This would make an amazing bag. This would be such an amazing bag. I I'm gonna, uh, in fact, you know what? I will. Look at that. Oh, I love it. You could do like your messenger bag, couldn't you, with it? Or um, like an iPad or tablet cover, laptop case, bean bag, travel things. I do like the idea of doing like travel things. <gasps> Half the stock of that is already gone, by the way. This one is beautiful. It's like cherry blossom. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Actually, cherry blossom, it's so pretty. This one as well. I'm literally flicking through all these. They're brand new today. We will go through them all in a bit more detail. They're nice for kitchen projects. That is such gorgeous watercolors. Can you tell I like all of these? I love them all. <gasps> oh, I like pina colada. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Should we start with it? Right, we're going with this one first. You could, you know, you're thinking like little dungarees. Oh, they'd look so cool. You could. They were obviously it's a heavier weight cotton, but you absolutely could. That's so amazing. So you could do, I want to do like um, a tiki bar. You could have this as the, you could make your own hammock, couldn't you? You could make your own deck chair. You've been looking at tiki bars, £5.99. I just think with a big rope, um, with a big rope handle, big beach bag, big rope handle, beach bag, pom-poms on it. Oh, I love it. It's really fun, isn't it? You could always just cut these out and applique them, couldn't you? Oh, tropical ivory. Cotton canvas, half a metre, five ninety nine. Oh, we're feeling tropical. We're singing, um, what song did you sing? It was like Pina Colada, what's the other one? 
Cup Tropicana drinks are free. That one as well. These flowers are beautiful, aren't they? It's taking me to Hawaii. It's a digital print. It's so lovely. It's like a photograph, isn't it? Paul's ruined. How we say that? Digital. What's your other word that you've made us? Shadrus. Yeah. It's beautiful. 100% cotton. Lovely cotton canvas. Right, let's go to, let's do this one, the watercolours. It's WMLJ48. <gasps> oh, that is stunning. It says, what's wrong? Sorry, I can't even hear that I'm doing this, by the way. I can't even hear that I'm doing it, so I'm ever so sorry if I keep it in my microphone. Bash, bash, bash that you keep hearing. I'm so sorry. I'm getting very excited. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step away from the desk because I think that um, I think it's me. <gasps> Look at this. Please, somebody make a blind with this. It would be absolutely beautiful. Or what about um, lampshade covers with this? I am thinking cushions. Beautiful bag. Right, we've got less than 20 metres. If someone wants five metres for a large project, then that will be gone in no time. It's brand new today and now it's less than 20 metres. It's extra wide, so even if you're thinking of smaller projects, like a nice bag, like a small, um, even like a purse or something, like a large wallet-style purse. That'd be so gorgeous. You can use uh, cotton canvas for bucket hats, yeah. I don't know whether I'd use this. I don't know. I suppose you could, couldn't you? Kitchen makes as well. This would be really lovely for things like, if you've got any of the Thermalan, this would be really nice for like oven gloves and that sort of thing, wouldn't it? Because you can throw it in in the wash as well. Or you could do... Oh, I've got so many ideas. got so many ideas. It's too exciting. My head's just ticking like this. I can't think of, can't even get the words out quick enough. Oh, what I was going to say was like an ironing board cover. How pretty is that? Doing your ironing board with your best press, smelling all lovely. 140 wide, so you're getting so much for your half metre, so much for your money. At just 5 99 those colours are beautiful. It just looks like it's been painted, doesn't it? Mix it with some of your solids as well. I've got some, um, some of the cotton canvases in, in, in solid colours as well. I think this is one of my favourites. If you want to see any of them together, I will pair them up in a bit. But I think this is lovely. It's DQLJ63. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, is it? Is it WCLJ17? There's two stickers on this one. Oh, no, there's, there's two stickers. Oh, that was the world map one. Thank you. Oh, that is so soft and beautiful. This would be beautiful for soft furnishing. Light pink piping around the edge of a cushion. Gosh, that is so beautiful. I think that's my favorite so far. I love it. 5.99 for your pink blossom cotton canvas. Isn't that gorgeous? For gardening, gardening bits and bobs as well, like a kneeling stool and just a little seat cover on a dining cha a chair. You know those ones with the ties around a, a wooden uh, a wooden dining chair. Very beautiful. Yeah, the gar. Cat and I went to the garden centre and we were looking. You know, between sort of fifteen pounds, fifteen pounds sort of a cushion for outdoor cushions. These are great, aren't they? You can odour coat them as well, couldn't you? So you can wipe them. Makes it water resistant. Five pounds ninety nine. The detail is beautiful. I need to give you a warning because I think this one, along with the next three, are going to absolutely fly out. They're amazing. The world map is up next. Warning, warning, warning. I am thinking bag makers. I'm also thinking, what about to embellish it? You could put it as like a world map and do like little buttons or something of places you've been. What are you thinking? Oh no, we've got less than 15 metres of this now. Less than 15 metres. And with half a metre, look at how many different worlds you're getting. 
Look, you're getting all of that for half a metre. It's a lot of fabric, isn't it? What about for somebody who, you know, travels a lot? If you want to do a beautiful um, gift for somebody who may be, you know, making laptop cases or um, backpacks, satchels, if you've got any Debbie Shaw's. We've got some of the, the great tote bags and, um, uh, and different bags and gift ideas that we've got coming up for some inspiration. You're just finding us. We are, where are you? I can't, I can't see where that is though. How far over are you? I still got, oh, we're there. We're literally there. £5.99. Oh, it's cool, isn't it? I love an atlas, I do. I saw somebody the other day when I was driving along, somebody in the next car was, had one of those huge map, like atlases, like huge maps. It wasn't the driver, it was passenger, but I was thinking, oh my word, like I can't remember the last time I read, I can't read a map, I can't read a map in the car, no way, it makes me feel so sick. But um, I thought, gosh, I didn't realise they were still doing those. Less than 10 metres. Less than 10 metres. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. Do you use them? I love the sort of the background as well. It's almost like different colours. Ooh, hang on, it's not your eyes. It's Paul with his Hollywood camera moves. There he is. What's this island? I can't even see where you are. So we're by the South Atlantic Ocean. Is it Greenland? Why did you zoom into that island? We don't know where we are. There's Australia. There's Brazil, South America. £5.99. You've got one of those globes, haven't you? Drink cabinets, like Alan Carr. Like Alan Carr. You're getting so much for five ninety nine. That was sell out. That is about to sell out. I'd love a shirt with that. I think that would look lovely. It's just a nice long, long shirt. Beautiful quality as well. Right, Paul, are you ready? Are you on speed dial? Because you've got to fight Paul for all of this. He wants loads of it. He's going to full on furnish his house with this. It's beautiful. Loads of you found this on the web. Check out as soon as you can. This is fab, isn't it? The colours are beautiful. And in fact, do you know what? This is going to go with so many of the solid fabrics that we've got. So if you're mixing this in with even just like your creams or you're mixing it in with the grey or you can mix it in with like some of the brighter pinks, the lighter blush pink, that's nice. What about the purple? I'd go purple and pink with this. I'd go with your blush purple and pink. Do you know what I love? The eucalyptus. Is it eucalyptus? I think it is. It's got like that bluey, beautiful colour. It's a bit vintagey, isn't it? It's very Oliver Bonus, John Lewis, next to home. I think this is really summery. It's really fresh and beautiful. £5.99. This is it with the white background. We've got the pink background coming up next. I'm thinking big cushions, lampshades, big oversized cushions. You know, the big ones that you can have two on your bed or you can have a big one on a sofa. They look so expensive. And they would be, let's face it, if you were to buy one metre of this and make a real simple envelope back cushion, how much is that going to cost you? Think about it, you see them 40 pounds in, in, if you're thinking of, you know, those designer stores, high street stores even, it is very, very next at home. Do you know jo Oliver Bonus? I love their stuff. It reminds me of that M&S and um, beautiful, beautiful quality. Yeah, this way even on the high street you'd be looking, I think, at 40 pounds a cushion. So nice. Right, the last one. is this one. Oh wow, this is so good. Exactly the same again, this time with your pink background. Just to remind you, you get so much for your money for 5 99 that's what half a meter looks like. The greens really pop with this one. 
I really like this one as well, your road bird, rosebird design. And it's like a lovely, um, it, it is like a lovely, not pink, pink, pink. Do you know some people who aren't pink people? This is quite, uh, the reason I say that is because some people we think, oh, do you know what, I'm not, I, I, it's a mature, it's got lovely lavenders, it's got great greens, it's rose, it's rose, it's a lovely pink. And I must say these flowers and look at the detail in your birds. Can you name all of these birds? I can't. I'm so bad. Must say that these are, are amazing, aren't they? The detail is beautiful. Just five pound ninety nine and a half metre. Do really, really like it. And again, with your pinks and with your oh, I think I'd definitely go with these two with it. But if you didn't want, if you want to make it more sort of less pinky pink, if you just draw on any of these like um, darker tones or this one, it would look completely different, wouldn't it? That's a lovely palette. That is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Okay, now, if you want to mix and match any of these fabrics, let us know and we can show you the next of them. I'll try and do it as best I can, but the email address is studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com if there's any questions that you have or you want to see anything from today's show that you may have missed out on especially free view viewers if you missed anything let us know and we can bring it back um so are we going to go for these complimentary ones now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put all of these in front of me and then what i'll do is i'll use my new skills that I have. You know, these lovely, uh, I, I keep saying I'm not very good with mixing colors, but I feel I'm getting more confident. So let me try and do my best for you. Right, we've now got less than five meters of the world map. And I think to go with the world map, let's have a look. You could go for loads of these. Let's go for the gray. Um, the code on it is, not here. Oh, yeah, it's there. Um, C-A-L-J. This one's called Pewter. Oh, it is beautiful, isn't it? So this is your Pewter, which is slightly different. It's slightly deeper than the other grey. Half a metre again for three ninety nine. Are you kidding? Look at how much fabric you get for three ninety nine. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. That's so good, isn't it? £3.99. The linings, just to make it go a bit further. And if you are using it with your atlas, if you're using it with your blossom, if you're using it with either of your birds, it would look really different, really dramatic, wouldn't it? You could use it with your pineapples. It's also been used with the rust linen, I think, in a bundle before. That makes the lilies really pop. I'm thinking, look, for linings or for backs of cushions, if you just want your designer, well, I say designer, if you want your other fabrics, which is slightly more expensive, to go that bit further, 3 half metre, that is a lot of fabric, isn't it? Brilliant value. Um, okay. We've also got, let's go for the other grey. I'm going to put it next to it just so you can see the difference. This is um, GMLJ, that one. It's called charcoal. It's almost next to this, got a bit of a purpley hue. I don't know if you can see. It's got a slightly more of a purpley hue to it. So that's the one we're looking at. It's called charcoal. Strange, isn't it, when you see it next to others? I would have just said it was grey. Three ninety nine. I know on the website sometimes it can be hard. It can look quite similar. Again, next to the atlas, brilliant. Goes perfectly with any of the fabrics. Obviously, you can't really go wrong with the the two greys. But I, I do particularly like this almost purpley charcoal tone to it. It's going to look lovely with all of these fabrics. I'm just going to put them all next to it so you can see if you are matching it up with any. Even with the the light fabric, it's going to really add contrast, isn't it? Your birds, oh yeah, I like that. I do like those together. And the lighter background, they do look really nice with, with the, um, the charcoal, don't they? 
three ninety nine and a half meter for charcoal. We've also got the purples. Now these are the ones that I kept coming back to. This is C W L J forty seven. Half a metre for three ninety nine again. It's such lovely quality. I know that Debbie loves working with the cotton canvas. Grab yourself some H640 off the website as well, or if you're working, doing any kitchen makes or any heat. The Milan is in stock as well. Three pounds, 99 and a half metre. And if I just lay this down next to this one, look at that together. That is absolutely made. They're made for each other, aren't they? Amazing, amazing, amazing. All the whites because it really draws on these lovely purples <gasps> purple in the uh, pina colada fabric what do you think like it like it like it um peonies yeah i suppose i would probably go with the pinks maybe oh still with the world map nice okay the light pink I'm going to keep these out. These go with everything. I think it's because you've got so many lovely colours. Um, I think it's the pink. It's A-Y. The coral's like a still a pinky coral though. Sorry. Yeah, I was just saying sorry about the heat because I haven't got the air con on in here today. Paul's saying it's 97 degrees in his gallery but sometimes if i have the aircon on will it travel through to you no so matchy matchy i like i like matchy matchy contrasting <laughs> see you could do a border and a cushion with it couldn't you or a binding even binding with it um, the pina colada pulling out the pinks different shades of pink with your white lilies oh actually right I've got a winner 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 this one love those together do you three pounds 99 and a half meter that's your pink cotton canvas I'm getting very good at mixing my colors together those two are a winner Matchy matchy, likey likey, no matchy, no likey, who's that? Little pair of dungarees with a pocket, with a blossom, <gasps> be so gorgeous. Who's that, sorry? Oh yes, it's off, um, take me out, that is it, I couldn't think what the name was. All right, have we done this one? We have, haven't we? We've done the purple. Let's go for coral. This is SHLJ, 3.99 and a half metre, and it is like a pinky coral. I know sometimes coral can be a bit deceiving, the word coral, because you see more peachy corals or more orangey corals, don't you? Whereas this is definitely leaning towards the pink side, and it does look lovely with your pineapples. I'd go, pineapple, right, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a matchy matchy. This one. What do you think? That's my go, that's what I'd go for. I'm thinking, that's my girl. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say that. That's the one. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to speed up a bit because I've got loads to do in less than half an hour. I'm thinking, that's my girl. This one is, I think, a crew QXLJ cream. Oh, it's like a lovely seeded um, vanilla ice cream. Oh, look at this. No, it wouldn't, I don't think. If you've got sensitive teeth, it's not good. You've got sensitive teeth. And it with this. It looks nice with the rust as well, doesn't it? Um... The cream background, I was looking at cream background earlier on. That one's quite a white background, so maybe not with the cream, maybe with the white, but it, it makes it quite soft, doesn't it, if you're mixing it with this one. That is beautiful. How's this selling? 
I'm hoping that there's some left for me because I'm thinking loads of things that I can do with that. Bit of a stock unit, uh, a stock warning on that one. We've got 15 units left. That's it. Oh, do check out as soon as you can. That's amazing. Okay. Are you telling dentist stories? Did you have your wisdom teeth out? My mum had her wisdom teeth out and there was not a good story. Cats got really bad. But I think the technology's changed from when you had yours out. I've heard this. It's probably about the same time as my mum had hers. And her, my mum said her face was out here. It was so bruised. Was yours bad? When did you have yours out? The purples. This is CFLJ16. Oh, yeah. It was probably a bit... They might have changed it 10 years ago. I wonder, has anybody had the wisdom teeth out in the last 10 years? I know it's not a nice process. Okay, Kat says, I refuse to read any of the emails about it because I'm really nervous about it. <gasps> oh, gorgeous together. This is your lavender. So that's lavender with the birds on pink. Lavender with the birds on white and it will really draw on the purples again. See, what I would potentially do, because I'm designing right now, is use both of these. I'd blend it in, because it's quite a stark change. Debbie Shaw is gonna be so jealous of me getting my hands on these first. They are so nice, aren't they? Um, I think that is all of them. I've got one more. No, we've got the, um, we've got the white as well to show you. Stock warning. Um, on the pewter, which, as I say, is that really lovely, deep, deep colour. There's only a metre and a half. Grab what you can on all of the pewter, which is this one, which we said was beautiful, didn't we? £3.99. It's gone. It's gone. OK, and the last one, which is a crew. Right, definitely put this with your birds on white. I think the um, the cream was a bit too cream, whereas this has got a lovely white. That's perfect. And, of course, if you like pina colada, if you like walks in the rain, So that's your accrue cotton canvas, three ninety nine. I'm just showing you some complimentary ones. Oh, in fact, actually, there's loads that this one will go with. I would just stock up on your accrue whilst you can, whilst it's in stock, because it's not just these. I would go for any of your white lilies with it, whether it be on rust or on pink, whether it be this one. We haven't had really many that would, I think, complement this one as perfectly as just having it with simply accrue. Just clean, crisp, fresh, gorgeous. So yes, at $3.99, I'd make the most of it. I think it's gonna go with loads that you've got at home in your stash as well. Right, so let me just, again, show you for anybody who wants to have a quick reminder of all of our beautiful, brand new today, cotton canvases. So we've got the Atlas. There's only two and a half meters of Atlas left. Got the blossom. We've had these beautiful birds, which I absolutely j'adore. How lovely is that? I could do the pinks, pineapples, pinks here, you rust, all of those. And they are all amazing, all absolutely amazing. Do check out if you've got any of them in your basket. I know that we ordered a lot of stock of these and it's going rapidly. It's going very, very quickly indeed. So do make the most of those. And especially when we're looking at $3.99 for the complementary colours as well, then that is brilliant. Now, we've got the mega bundle of... Oh no, not mega bundle. Sorry. We've got the Fat Quarters. Sorry, I said that really dramatically as well. We have got the Mega Bundle coming up in a while of Moda, but we've got the Fat Quarters up next, which we launched earlier on uh, this morning before 
We had three of you back with us now. At eight o'clock this morning, I know that we had a bit of a technical hitch. Um, so you missed these and look at how beautiful they are. Your Fat Quarter pre-printed exclusive panels. Good morning. This one's called Good Morning. Beautiful colours, all four Fat Quarters, all with those beautiful little patterns, which if I light down, then you can see those more de uh, more sort of intricately. If I go for a quick light down. Um, so you've got the lovely stitches, you've got the square dots, you've also got the little Vs, and you've got these nice little flecks, like the grains of rice. I wanna know what you're gonna do with these, because obviously, don't forget, you can cut these into fat quarters and use any of your books We've got some great books online that are on the website that will give you great inspiration of how to use your fat quarters. I know that um, we were doing mug rugs earlier on. I've got uh, the book, mug, the mug rugs book. It's on the website if you want to make the road to that. The mug book. <laughs> it's extra wide as well, it's 140 centimetres. And 14, <laughs> 14 .99. And can you see that you've got the white line in between? It gives you a little bit of wiggle room, which is always nice, isn't it? Having a little bit of wiggle room. Gosh, I need more than a little bit of wiggle room uh, <laughs> after lockdown. That's my girl. <gasps> Oh, that's funny. I don't know why I said it. I'm just really proud of myself. Really proud of myself. It's one of one of those days. <gasps> oh, this is my favourite. This is my favourite. Look at that. This print is lovely, isn't it? It reminds me of something. It's quite retro, isn't it? A bit 60s. 60s vibes. Um, so. Which. You know when you see people pulling out the uh, tablecloths? That's what I felt like then. I felt really cool. <laughs> so, I mean, these are all so much bigger than what you're seeing. Let me open it out. Let's open it out and you can see all of these gorgeous prints. Oh, we've got to laugh, haven't we? We've got to giggle. We've had all the gremlins in with us today. I, and I'm, talk, I'm not just talking about Paul. So we've got the daisies. These did not get the full eyes of Freeview earlier on, so I'm really pleased that you've got the chance of getting these now. $14.99 for complimenting Fat Quarters, exclusive to us. And the daisies as well, I love that one. Oh, these are the ones that we made, the mug rugs, these ones. Don't be just a little mug rugs, but I mean, there's full fat quarters, there's loads that you can do with these. There's so many projects that you're going to be able to do with them. EPP, little dressmaking for dolls, little toys, patchwork bag. Because you've got different scales of print, that's already thought about for you. Even, you know, the, the quilt behind me, if you're using these, it's like you're complementing like blues and purples together. Amazing. $14.99. We've also got... We've also... Got, no, I've just got taller. The table's not higher, it's me getting taller. I've got my wedges on today, you see. <laughs> oh gosh, we've had wardrobe malfunctions galore. I told you, didn't I, at the end of the last show? Cat broke her bra in the gallery. I know, did you not hear about this? Not today, this was um, last, the other days we were here. And it, <laughs> I know you heard a, <laughs> but it wasn't that. I can't do that sound. Um, it was here as well. I don't understand how that snapped. Oh gosh, but I broke my shoe today, I broke my sandal. So I've been walking around with a flappy shoe. Luckily, we're in a bit of a haberdashery store here, so we've got plenty of glue to be able to stick it together. Pardon? Oh no. Right, so this is Itsy Bitsy, Ditsy Bitsy. This is the one that you may have seen with Debbie's um, cow creamers as well. 
These prints are beautiful, aren't they? This one is gorgeous. Great way to get a bit of a taster, these fabrics. And if you're like me and you're a bit scared of putting fabrics together, you're not quite sure on what, what matches in, you've got four different scales of print, four complementary fabrics that are all going to work together. £14.99 for four of your fat quarters. You got your gingham prints, you got your spot, you got your lovely cream with roses, and then this beautiful, beautiful print as well. What do you want to make out of this? £14.99. You can make bags, absolutely. You just need some uh, interfacing. Just get some H640. Amazing value. I think that's um, Kat's favourite fabric of Sewing Street from Day Dot. That's a statement. It's exclusive to us. Can't get it anywhere else. It's designed by us. How good's that? It is stunning. What a great fabric designer. Uh, then we've also got the one that Sally Ann was working with earlier on, which is Misty Kitchen. How are we do for time, Paul? Oh my word. Okay. So this one's got your two ditzy floral prints. And then it's also got the gingham and the spot. I will open it all out so you can see the size of this because if you're multi buying, they already come like you can sort of see here. They're cut into panels. So they're absolutely massive. $14.99. That is a lot for your money, isn't it? For fourteen pounds ninety nine, four fat quarters. I think this is one of the one of my favourites. Actually, those colours together, those plums, really, really nice together. Um, so you saw Sally Ann working with the greys earlier on. In the in the uh, the mug rugs. So in our under ten pounds hour. I know. I'm so so sorry, Freeview. If you missed it earlier on, I'm really hoping that you've gone onto the web shop and you've been eagle-eyed enough to see all of the deals that we had earlier on at nine o'clock because we did everything under £10, including lots of brand new, nice little gift ideas. So, for example, the little manicure sets have been really, really popular. Well, um, we should get those back, in fact, as well. I've got them here. These are the um, these are the, the the lovely strawberry thief ones, which are gorgeous. We've also got it in the the lily one as well. But this look, so you get a pair of tweezers, you got a pair of scissors, you got your nail clippers, you got cuticle cutters. Very very low on stock, by the way. We are. I think these are great for on the move, aren't they? Also, your little cuticle pushers. I'm calling them. Let's push your cuticles down. They're really good and a little file as well. They're great to take um, on the move with you. I've just got a little one of these in my in my little cupboard in the bathroom. When you're going on a long drive. Um, really? Um, Kat's mom has got a little pack for when Terry's driving, when Kat's dad is driving, then she can sit there, get a manicure set out, do her nails if it's a long journey. That's a good idea. She's also got, low, oh my word, do you know what? Your parents are always so organised. I did a socially distant festival last weekend and they were there and they came with everything. Do you know when people go for a picnic and you see them in the park and they've got like, they've almost got like their whole tables all set up with a tablecloth and proper plates and things. I always say, oh yeah, I'll go for a picnic and I end up with like a carrier bag of sausage rolls and just sausages. I think that's a picnic. I always envy people who are organised like your parents, Kat. They were very organised. But these are lovely to have as gifts, aren't they? £8.99. And I think I must say that is my favourite print. The Strawberry Thief. Very popular. We have also got it in the... Is it called Winter Lily? Golden Lily, sorry. Golden Lily. I knew it was Lily. Um, this is your William Morris. Another very, very iconic print. $8.99 for your manicure set by accident. $8.99. Uh, 
eight pounds ninety nine and. They are lovely hard cases as well. Nice hard cases, lovely quality for just £8.99. All six of your um, of your little bits and bobs for your manicure. We like to do ourselves a little manicure in the morning, don't we? I didn't do it today. We were really busy today, but I normally put a bit of nail oil on. And Sorry, I haven't done my nails today. I'm so sorry. You can tell. Oh, gosh, I didn't realise how bad they are. I'm so sorry. I need to sit with the manicure set after that. Right, let's do the little magnet. So the magnets come in a pack of three. Sewing mends the soul, your little dressmaking patterns as well. And they're all magnets. So whether you're using them as fridge magnets, gift ideas for people, brilliant. Saving of £1.50 when you're purchasing all three. The only way of getting these magnets actually is in the bundle. We're not selling them individually. They're only in the bundle. Just £7.97. Nice little gifts. That's three separate gifts for people, isn't it? Especially somebody that you know loves dressmaking and sewing. They're fabulous. It's really hard. You know when you go into shops, don't get me wrong, you can see all of those. I love doing this. You know when you see somebody who's looking at one of those revolving stands of magnets or cards or something. You just like start spinning it and there's somebody over the other side. Let's do it. How nasty of me is that? But it's not very often that you get to see ones that are a bit of a nod to our craft when you've got the, the sewing ones. They're great. <laughs> I don't do it really. I'm only joking. I just know how irritating it is when someone moves it and you're like, I'm looking at that revolving. Well. I've not fallen over recently, but I have just broken my shoe today, so I'm guessing that's karma for spinning the, um, the rotating thing around. Right, we've also got the tin. Tins? Or tin? Tin. One, two, three. All three of your little magnetic pin tins. Pin tins! Um, they've got a little magnet at the bottom, so they will hold all of your safety pins or... These are great, aren't they? Little magnetic tins. Just £9.97 for all three of these. And I love the fact that you've got the pictures of vintage dressmaking patterns, even down to the numbers, the patterns. Now, these two we've got available individually on the website. Um, this one isn't. The only way of getting the pink is in this bundle. So if you love those absolutely make the most of it just nine pounds 97 now just very quickly as loads of you've been asking about the mega bundle we've got the whole shebang the whole mega bundle of your beautiful moda fabrics now this is seven meters um and in fact we've done a bit of a deal on this so bearing in mind you don't normally see deals like this on moda fabric you're getting half a meter for free that is so good. This is the Moda Lancaster Fabric Mega Bundle. Oh, I think you I don't know whether I've just lost you on my... Very, you sound like you're in a hole, cat. I can hear you through the wall, Paul. I'm all right for, a, for 10 minutes. Um, £97 and 39 and 37 pence. It's all right. It's not my batteries. It's just some strange. It just sounds like you've just fallen down the hole. All half meter pre cut. It's from the Lancaster range. I think this is the collection by Joe Morton, isn't it? But I love the fact that you're mixing in with, uh, you know, the, the different dark base colours as well, because they're going to be so striking, aren't they? They're going to look incredible. And I always think when you're looking at the more traditional colourways like these, these warm tones, to put black, dramatic, you know, deep, dark base tones as well, it's quite contemporary, whereas actually it works really, really well. Now, we've got two of these mega bundles left where you get all of the fabric for 97 37 Now, these bottom two fabrics are sold out by the half metre. So the only way of getting these two fabrics is in the whole bundle. Everything else are available on the website by the half meter as well. So you can still make the most of those and they look great together, don't they? This is the Moda Lancaster range. If you just search that on the website, you will be able to see them all by the half meter, but 
there is literally two of the mega bundles left less than 100 pounds which takes it down um, with half a meter for free fantastic value on designer fabric i know so many quilters that only use mode of fabric um it's so renowned especially for we were talking with sally Ann about different scales of print and how important that is to add texture to your quilts and that makes such a difference now down to one down to one check out of your basket as soon as you can on that one that will sell out right just um i've got a bit of a confession to make i shouldn't be doing this today but we i know we uh paul hasn't seen these and for anybody who hasn't seen them i know i said yesterday but because of the technical difficulties that we've had today neil has allowed us to do it for one more day so it's only for one day. You saw Sally Ann getting organised with using them as bookmarks. You can use them to organise yourself with your um, with your fabrics. It's not going to damage your fabric. Uh, now, obviously, we've seen in the past Wonder Clips, which are branded by Clover. Fifty of them is twenty eight pounds and ninety nine pence. Today, our buying team have been working so so hard to be able to do this for you, and you have got fifty of your wonder clips for 9.99. So I know that you can get the comparable sort of branded name ones here at Sewing Street for 28.99. Here you're getting 50 for 9.99. How crazy is that? And I must say they are really lovely quality. So our our buying team have tried really 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 hard to to get for you not only the quality but the price as well. So yes, you can get them very very affordably, but we wanted to still be able to bring you the quality. So what were we looking for? The fact that these can open up, not stiff, these can open up really lovely and thick so that you can get through all of your, whoa, all of your layers. It also has that lovely dome there, again, enabling you to go through uh, and to be able to clip lots of layers if you're working with bulky fabrics, if you're working um, on bags, if you're doing binding, if you're using them on fabric that you can't necessarily pin like your leather or PU or if you're using it for it, we talk about bulky fabrics a lot but even real delicate fabrics that you don't want to pin they're ideal so that's 50 as I said fantastic value who's that sorry hello thank you so much for your message somebody has messaged in hello John John's messaged in Jan, hello Jan, Jan's messaged in, sorry, it still sounds like cats down the hall. Jan, Jan messaged in and has said they're really, really strong. Blimey, they're strong. I don't think I'll ever use pins again. That's it, a great alternative and a really quick way of using, um, instead of constantly having to take them out at your machine, I find it so much quicker and you're not gonna leave pins in. How many times have you made a bag and found a pin? Um, in your project at the end of it We're now down to 17 pence a clip when you're looking at the hundred bundle bearing in mind 50 of your clover wonder clips um, are 28.99 28.99 so a hundred of them and we're still under 20 please remember we were really really passionate about bringing you the, the quality now Neil has told us that we can have this price for one last day. So today I should have been telling you that it's gone up in price, but all three bundles, because of all of our technical difficulties today. Oh, you're back. Have you climbed back up the hole? She's back. Thank you. 150 of these. What have you pressed or what have you changed? All 150. This time, even better value for money. So this time you're looking at 15 pence a clip. If you are doing large binding projects, if you use them all around the house, we had so many people who were messaging in saying, I've used mine as my clip for my lockdown fringe to be able to clip my hair back. Um, I've seen people using it to roll their toothpaste down. I've seen people using it for their pasta in the kitchen. Honestly, there is so many different ways. Hence why they're called multi-purpose sewing clips. Loads, uh, loads of ways of using them. It is officially today, the last day. Thank you for bearing with us. I know that we've had horrendous technical difficulties today. So Neil has said as a treat you can have them more for one last day make the most of this price it's 23.99 97 sorry if you're getting all 150 
amazing value. Thank you for bearing with us today. It's been one of those days, hasn't it? Technical gremlins. I think it's a storm. I blame everything on the weather. <laughs> Tomorrow, though, John's going to be with you with a great show. Sally Stevens going to be joining him for a comfy pet bed. I know that you've got a new dog coming your way, haven't you? Cat's got a new dog and she needs to make a pet bed for him, a, a, a dog bed. That'd be perfect. Fabulous fabrics coming up at nine o'clock. 10 o'clock, we're gonna be working with Sally Stevens and she's fantastic and knowledgeable with Creative Grids. Alice and Glass Fabric and a beautiful, beautiful project at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we're gonna go back through some of the past kits, some of your favorites, some of our favorites, um, all coming up. At 12 o'clock, we're gonna repeat um, Sally's Sally Ann's love to sew mug rugs. So if you miss those panels, make the most of it. Now, yesterday we had a brand new designer and a brand new guest. So we had Gemma from The Pattern Preacher who was fantastic um, at demonstrating with a, a beautiful new pattern. So you're gonna be watching in the next hour a repeat of yesterday's show of the Olivia dress, which is a beautiful tea dress. So do have a watch of that and stick with our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, who will then take over at one o'clock. But for now, thank you so much for your company. Check out your baskets and you'll see John tomorrow morning at eight o'clock.